Marrying, showering, fucking wiping your ass, and I'm killing. Brushing your teeth. That's why your breath smells like. So this dude looks like the typical Discord mod. Fashion sense like Jeremy. Body type like old Wu talk. <laughs> or when your homie does something good, it's like, yo, you deserve head. <laughs> you sniff up on his neck. Mm. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello and welcome to Under the Influence. Damn, that shit was fire. Oh, how? The juiciest, sauciest podcast on the internet where you learn a lot of things. We're just watching us for 20 minutes a day can make your child more emotionally intelligent. <laughs> so sure. you set up that baby in his little little rocking chair and you turn on Under the Influence and, and, and train him because uh, got a lot of interesting topics today. My name is Wu Talk. My name is Vi- <coughs> My name is Vitrap. My name is Esther. My name is <coughs> Jeremy. <laughs> and we're sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors, <laughs> no, no weird, weird aftertaste. aftertaste. Um, you know, I feel like something something very recently happened with Nectar. <laughs> what, did did you have some exciting developments? Exciting developments. So, as you guys know, we recently launched in Ralph's, uh-huh. and they set up this without us knowing. They set up this huge display where they it's the Ralph's right by UCLA. So there's yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Hundreds of college, thousands, tens of thousands of college kids that go through that store every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they, probably steal from that store every day. There's literally like 15 cameras, 20 security guards, armed guards. Um, But there was just a huge pole, like literally from floor to ceiling. And they wrapped the, they stacked nectar boxes all the way up. And I went to that store. So I've been kind of posting the business journey on my TikTok, the nectar TikTok. And I recorded it. I was like, oh my God, look at this display. Yesterday, uh, Brando went to the store just to build like around it, and it was basically all sold out. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So UCLA is eating that shit up. Eating it, it up. Like. You know why? Because you bring this to a party, your chances of getting laid go up by 65% oh, as opposed 100%. to a white claw. 65%? Anyways, that's very cool. Yeah. It's, it's, you want to know something funny? You said that people can't steal from there because of all those things, but that's why they have all those things because people are definitely stealing quite a lot from there. And you know why I know that's true? Because when we dropped at that Ralph's, when we were at that Ralph's, people were telling me that before we got there, when the line was formed, yeah. somebody somebody was stealing, <laughs> and that the security had to chase them down and like tackle them in the <laughs> parking lot. And the whole line was like clapping it up. Like. <laughs> you, dude, literally in that store, at every sing- in, in the alcohol aisle, I've never seen it. There's literally TVs at your eye level. Mm-hmm. They they built custom poles so you look at yourself on camera so you stop stealing. Uh-huh. And there was lit- there was actually 15 security guards everywhere I went. Wow. Yeah. That store probably makes, though, on, on alcohol sales. Beca- <clears throat> that store probably makes on alcohol sales, like, millions every single month because the students. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Well, damn, college students love drinking. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, interesting people that go to that place. Because I went to... a to one of the tastings uh-huh. that he did. And there's a lot of like older people that are like, oh, wow, what are you selling here? And then they're like clearly like looking me up and down. Uh-huh. Wow. 40 old people. Yeah, like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, wow. <laughs> yeah and, and it's like, what are you selling? And I'm like, oh, hard seltzer. Do you want to give it a, give it a taste? They're like, no, you're just beautiful. Wow. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like literally just super uncomfortable. But then they'll just linger there. Yeah. They Jeremy won't. pimping out his girlfriend for, <laughs> for her to give us. I'm like, don't you they can- stare a lot? Don't old people stare? Like, yeah, they mad. stare a lot, but it's just like, Okay, bye, you know? Uh-huh. Like, you can have a whiff if you buy a box. <laughs> Come on. But I literally have on camera this guy. Well, I wasn't there before. This guy literally comes back on camera, and you hear him on camera being like, you're just so beautiful. <laughs> just like, what the f***, you horny-ass guy? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy go said... On, go over to the cucumbers. <laughs> Get Jer- away from me. <laughs> Jeremy said uh, that Ralph's is like Gotham City. <laughs> yeah. So many characters. That area of town is low key. It's it's interesting. It's a little silly, goofy place. It is silly, goofy. (laughs) Speaking of W's, uh, we've been on Super Bonsai side taking quite a few W's as well. TikTok shop is going stupid for us. And so I've noticed now because it's going crazy and like people are noticing, like TikTok shop, you can see exactly how many items are sold for each thing. And um, 
So then people start making their own videos about the product just organically mm. because they want to sell it and earn commission. And that is why TikTok shop is so powerful because rent anyone can sign up to sell what? the product and like make a percentage of the revenue. Yeah, God, that makes so I've much sense. Like, you can't do that on Amazon. You yeah. can't enjoy product and make money. You have to like go to you another can, platform. But it doesn't have the built in like discoverability yep. like TikTok. Does. And then just the click of a button and order it all right exactly. there. Exactly. I have a question. Yeah. If you decide to if I decide to uh, advertise for Super Bonsai, right? Mm -hmm. Then does the price increase or does TikTok just pay the difference? No, the like what? There's no, we pay the difference. So we give you your cut, and, but TikTok automatically, so TikTok collects the money, right? Uh -huh. So this is $38.95. Somebody buys it from your link, then yeah. immediately, and then we can set either like a custom percentage for you specifically, but okay. anyone can sign up and it's 15% automatically that oh, goes to them. Okay. And I've calculated that I would have made almost six figures from, if I was my own affiliate for my own company, and I was making like actual 15%, I would have made almost six figures by now in commission checks. How many videos though? It was not that much. There was much. a bunch of videos to be honest. No, but, but it's like, like, no, I thought it was like 10. No, no, it's a lot of videos, but yeah. it's it's like five of them that account for all the sales. So it's like, you, that's what most pages are. It's like, you're learning how to sell and then you have one banger that makes you like 40 grand. Wait, so if I copied your script, why wouldn't I just copy your script? That's basically? what people well, should oh do to be honest. You should copy my scripts in the exact same way, <laughs> but like in your own words and dead ass, it'll, it'll Go nuts. You forget to change your name. Hi, I'm Bar Chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> he uploads my video with his face got fucking deep faked <laughs> over it. He's floating over it. I, I, would, I would buy it. Yeah, I would key, buy it. That would be enough to trick the algorithm. You don't even need to trick that. I've uploaded my own videos onto separate accounts and grown those accounts like overnight because mm. I know the strategy of going viral every time. So it's like, I'm going to do it. Do that. Shit. Please. <laughs> We can all get out the hood together. Hey, why is your co-founder not saying a word? Why haven't you made a video about your yeah, company? Yeah, we have to fire him. He doesn't give a fuck about it. <laughs> oh, he'd, he'd be waking up at uh, 5 p.m. He keeps getting high off our own supply. We just sold out early because he took all of it from just getting drunk all the time. <laughs> no, man. But congrats. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, congrats to it's hard congrats to, to you two, my Asian brother, as we win together. Congrats to all of us. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Oh, you're about to hit 100K. You're going to get a fucking plaque. Ooh. Yeah. Are you hyped? Yeah, no, what? Are you hyped? Um, I mean, we already have one. No, no for, for yourself. yourself. You, though. Man. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? Uh, I thought we just, I just needed one. Oh, okay. The under the influence one. Yeah, but it's like you'll have one in your house now. Is there a 500,000? No, it's only a million is the next one. All right, get us to a million. Um, everybody. So, oh, we're remembering if, this time. Wait, wait, real quick. If everybody gets three friends to subscribe to our page, four friends will guaranteed get to a million subscribers. <laughs> Guys, all you have to do is show them the funniest clip that we've dropped. Just send it to a friend and see if they'll organically start following us. Like. But uh, we always forget to do this at the end, so like this video right now. I'm literally looking at you right now. If you don't fucking like this video, I swear to God. Hey, whoa, 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 no. Remember, we're going to be nicer this oh, year. Oh, you're right. I, <laughs> I swear to God, if you don't like this video. I'm kidding. I'm going to reach but, to the screen and tickle you. <laughs> I think yeah, every clip that I'm in, I, I crack up. I think any clip that I'm in is funny. I'm I'm just a reference. Oh, okay. Oh. Send that to your friend. Anyway, like like the video. And uh, last time we asked you to comment your unpopular opinion, and this person said that um, anyone who enjoys hot chips has inferior taste buds. <laughs> no. How do you feel about that one, <laughs> Esther? I only like spicy chips. No, I'm just kidding. True. Spicy chips are the best. No, but True. it makes sense that they have inferior taste buds. It's just melted. Yeah. The you, only you thing need, you need you need more stimulus to taste anything. Yeah. No. You don't no, but appreciate true flavor. flavor. They taste good. I like hot chips. They have they have flavor. No, just they're also just also added spiciness. Well, yeah, but it, again, you're just blunted. Well, then like you everything. take it up with uh, Sam no. is in here somewhere because Sam is in here somewhere thinks you have sh taste buds. No, Where Sam, you, Sam, come out the closet. You're just, no, you're you're just jealous that every single time you eat a hot chip, you just sh out your ass, and I don't. And I would also say it's Ew. double the flavor. Yeah. No, it's normal just spicy flavor. flavor. No, it's normal flavor plus the spiciness uh, aspect. I think that spicy masks the flavor. If you're not no. good at making yeah, yeah, the too, real flavor, if, too, if it's overly spicy, it is taken away from well, flavor. Overly, yes. yeah, yeah, but most times, you know, it's just masking the flavor. Nah, well, hot it's just, Cheetos, it's just spicy hot flavor. Cheetos is bomb? Shut the f up! <laughs> Agreed. Wait, you don't think hot Cheetos is good? I. You, you like hot Cheetos? I, I used to. Now I it like tastes so artificial, I can't eat them anymore. Oh my god! I, I used like to be obsessed. Okay, then what's your favorite absolute spicy chip, Mr. Spicy? Chester, Chester Hot Apologist. Fries. Chester Hot Fries. Oh, mm -hmm. Hot Fries. Chester, they, they have a, it tastes different yeah, than the actual hot. It's distinctively different, yeah. They're, they're, I don't know, they're crispier than Cheetos. Cheetos are more dense. 
hot fries are more like crispy. Uh, crispy. Buy some after this. Yeah, but yeah. the puff corn is hot Cheeto puff corns are good. Yeah, but is uh, the spicy like flavor that. not the same as the the hot Cheeto? They're it's, not it's using the same. Now hot Cheetos are more like I don't know how to describe it, man. I didn't go to. F- that's because your taste bud is bl- <laughs> <laughs> blunt. Oh my god! Right, well, I'm not saying I'm not saying that like non-spicy chips are bad. Uh-huh. I like all of them. I, I like anything with red forty. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but but let me tell you, when there's extra red forty, I'm there. <laughs> I think people that don't like hot chips are have inferior taste buds. Wait, is Sam? Red- you got some fighting words over here, Sam. Hey, look at what you did, Sam. You started a fight. Well, uh, now that we're on the topic of food, I got a little f- Mary kill for y'all. I just have one question What's your for question? Sam. Sam, oh, why would you say that, though? What is the reasoning? Sam What's wanted beef. We asked her for an unpopular opinion. She, <laughs> gave us but she hey, wh- didn't say anything else. <laughs> hey, what's another question we should ask everybody? Uh, well, I'm about, to, I'm about to hit the question right now. Oh, okay. All right, so I got a Mary Kill right now for you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Noodles, rice, and bread. Oh. The holy <laughs> trinity of carbs. Yeah, well. F- Mary Kill. All right, we'll start with, we'll start with you. Mm, Mary noodles, kill bread, f- rice. Damn, you said f- rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. What position? Huh? What position? Ew. He's missionary. Oh, that's that's <laughs> cute. Oh, he loves. He All loves right. cute. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, I respect rice. Yeah, I. I'm. Damn, this one's hard. I was All about right, to Esther, say. If you know, <laughs> I mean, I think. It- Vit, right? Vit said uh, Mary Rice. No, no, he said oh. Mary Noodles. Oh, I'm different. Then I'll marry rice uh-huh. and then f- noodles mm-hmm. and then kill bread. Mm. I love rice. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing. Mary, at first, I was almost flipped because I was like, no more pasta, but Mary Rice, f- noodles, kill bread. I'm not thinking about pasta. I'm thinking about like pho noodles and like mm. Asian noodles. I know, I know that too. I'm going to have to start eating pho with rice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm also I'm I'm marrying rice simply because it's the healthier option of all of them. So oh if I'm gonna boy, eat it here comes this long. guy, Jesus Christ, Mister. All right, all right. That's why you are sick every other f-ing day. That's why you. I don't even want to know what your insides look like. That'll probably put me into a f-ing coma. You're disgusting. I don't even have to go into detail with that. But uh, but anyways, yeah. it's probably because because you guys are. F-ing anyways, I was agreeing with your picks, marrying rice for that reason. Yeah, because it's healthier. Because it's a whole food. They didn't process it into noodles or bread. I'm going to fuck noodles because they're just sloppy and slippery and fun. <laughs> little sloppy little strands of His fucking. noodle versus their noodle. <laughs> <laughs> like the thick, girthy ones. <laughs> no, I mean, I versus can, his little bread. spaghetti noodle. Like, I, I can bread, eat rice I every it. day, but not noodles. Like, I, I, li- I, like I noodles, do eat rice but... every day. Yeah, yeah, Multiple yeah. times a day. Um, I just knew all you Asians was going to pick rice. Noodles is also Asian. Oh, Tristan, what, what would you pick? Ooh, By the way, man. Tristan's white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canadian. If you didn't know. <laughs> After hearing how Wu Talk described noodles, I almost don't want to pick it now. <laughs> but I'm going to marry... You know, mar- like a little strand of noodles? Okay, fine, maybe. All right, <laughs> so I'm going to marry rice, because I have that every day, multiple times a day. And it's got the best nutrients. I'm a f- noodles with Wu Talk. Yep, yep. We're double teaming that hoe. Yep, yep. And then f- bread... Because that's a waste of carbs. Yeah. Oh, oh but that, Tristan's also very like health. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to say health, he's more like gains focused. Oh, yeah, 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 I just say like four mochis that yeah, we're talking yeah, yeah. about. Okay, that's that's I I love, six candies. I do love bread though. I like love bread. Pizza. Don't get me wrong. I could go without bread. Yeah, but pizza, without doesn't, bread, pizza doesn't count as bread. A hamburger bun. Could go without it. No, no. Pizza I love counts bread, as, but pizza don't. counts as bread. No, no. I would put it in the, the crust. Yeah, yeah. Bre- pizza Come counts on. as bread. Pizza counts as bread. What, but what I still I, would pick changing the other his, two He's changing his opinion. No. Wait, no. Pizza. <laughs> Wait. So would you do uh, what? <gasps> what about sandwiches? No oh. more sandwiches. I gotta eat rice sandwiches now. <laughs> I mean, you just can't eat sandwiches. Hey, they make that though. The little rice patties. Have you seen that? They form them oh, into patties. Oh, have you all ever had the? F- Cheating. Ramen burger? Y'all ever had the, yeah, the ramen burger. Nah, I, uh, oh, I did have the... We went the, to the yes. 626 uh-huh. night market. I I also, that's where I had time. it too. Yeah. Last year. It was delicious. Yeah, it was mid. Oh, so you guys just go uh, to f- night markets without me? Yeah, yeah all three of us went. Nah. I forgot who I went with. Fit, you're supposed to say yeah. <laughs> our, our, main you? Purpose, our main purpose is to anger him. I would never lie to anybody. <laughs> Every single day. Uh, well, never. <laughs> I would never. You never what? I would never lie to anybody. 
It's true. All right, anyways, that was a lie right on. there, but okay. You guys will do like anywhere between seventy to hundred thousand dollars a month. Probably. Solid. My drink does not sell well at this store, and I'm trying to figure out why. I've never heard of it. it doesn't even have a sign, so maybe it's unknown. But let's go inside, figure out why we're not doing so well. Hello. Do oh, you know where the order. alcohol section is? Uh, all the way to the market area. You know what's kind of interesting of how empty the shelves are? I actually, don't even see us. Oh, right here. We are out of stock. That's a no-no. That could probably explain why we're not doing so well. But you know what's also interesting about this? If you guys want free stickers, pop them up here, Warren. All you have to do is take a photo of this shelf. Ask a store employee if it's in the back. And if it's not in the back, text us this photo. Tell us the address of the store that's out of stock. And I'll send you these stickers for free. One of the owners of one of the drink companies and we're out of stock. And I just want to see if we're in the back. And then I can merchandise it. Thank you. I wonder if they uh, just ghosted me. So as you can see, we've been standing here waiting for quite some time. All these these little store checks take a lot of time and that's nobody's fault it's just part of the game we have people on our team that do this every single day it's so important that the store shelves stay stocked because I can't control when someone wants to go buy our drink so when they do go you want it to be on the shelf my name is Jeremy I'm the owner of nectar okay. and I, I just wanted to see if there's a way to check to see if there's any in the back stock so just because our spot on the shelf was empty okay thank you, you need to come in here if you want. oh sweet uh, so that one I don't have any okay I'll let our distributor know is there a rough number of how much alcohol is sold every week at this target the last week alone just for our beverage it was 10 grand oh okay yeah so it's not like super crazy target behind the scenes fascinating <laughs> i gotta figure out if that's a lot or a little to me that seems a lot lower because we went to that one target in hawaii they do like 200,000 or something ridiculous i still gotta post that video i gotta check it against what like a bevmo does yeah. you know i have another fuck mary kill this one's this one's a little spicier <laughs> fuck mary kill <laughs> showering brushing your teeth and wiping your ass jeremy Hit me with it right sure, now. Right okay, right I am... Uh, Which one are you getting rid of first? Yeah, yeah. Well... Damn. I'm marrying showering. Okay. Because I like that. <laughs> I'm fucking wiping your ass. Because I'm a dirty boy. <laughs> and I'm killing washing your hands because that's all a myth. It washing was, your hands? Brushing your no, teeth. Wash, brushing your teeth. Your teeth. Oh. Yeah, you just made one up the fuck. <laughs> Damn, brushing your teeth? <laughs> Shit. Ew, Jeremy <laughs> won't brush his teeth. Oh, this is That's tough. tough. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill. No wonder your breath smells oh, like no, that. Oh no, I'm gonna kill. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking brushing your teeth, and I'm killing wiping your ass because I just do that in the shower. Nah, that doesn't help. That's oh, that fucking, yeah, that okay, okay, fine, like, you fine. can't clean you your can't, ass. You at can't, all. you can't, you can't. You get one shower a day, but you poop four times. <laughs> Damn. <gasps> Fuck. Then I have okay, to stop I'm, eating I'm, red No, 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 no. Okay, marrying showering. Fucking uh, wiping your ass, and I'm killing. Brushing your teeth. You're brushing your That's teeth. That's why your breath smells like shit. <laughs> it's not like I don't do no, that I already. Didn't. What's your turn? I don't know. It's hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't. You don't even poop, so you, don't, you that one could go. Yeah, but yeah. All right, so you're gonna kill wiping your ass because you're disgusting. Ew. No, I didn't say that. I. So I can't, you're telling me I can't wipe. If you wipe. kill it, you can't, can't do wipe. it. Yeah. And then if you fuck it, you can only do it very occasionally. So, yeah, unless so you're throwing you, it down like 17 times I, a day. I, but if I, if I cut down on the red 40, then I would, I would, I don't have to use the restroom. Yep. And okay. I could go to the shower instead of washing my no, hair. No, no, it's cheating. I could cheating. flip myself upside down like this. No, no, that's cheating. Cheating. No. No, that's cheating. No, no, we've already that. went over this. Jeremy yeah, tried that Yeah, you shower once, but you I have the right time. answer. Okay. I would kill showering, never shower again, and then just buy loads of Axe bottles. Okay. Mm, okay. This guy's smart. I'm going to fuck, smart. I'm going to fuck wiping my ass and then let my fucking fingers slip up my asshole. <laughs> what, is what, what is this extra credit? What the fuck? <laughs> and I'm gonna marry brushing my teeth. Ah. Cause then when I talk to people, like my breath don't stink. Yeah. But your finger gonna stink. No, but you're fucking <laughs> Would you shake your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it with your left hand. Yeah. So that's so tough. I'm like very stressed. <laughs> Alright, I'm just I'm killing wiping my ass. This is the correct answer because you'll never know that I didn't wipe my ass. <laughs> Yes, what you mean? <laughs> no, you <laughs> won't. And like you may get it. one shower a day. If I marry showers, I get one shower a day. Take so I'll just go the whole day with swamp ass, shower at the end of the day, I'm chilling. Like no one ever knew that I was just dirty the whole day because <laughs> well, if but I didn't brush my teeth, then I'd be just blowing oh, stank breath into your face. Oh, oh, no. I know one thing. What? If you don't if you don't clean your butthole, you're gonna be itchy. 
I'll oh, deal with true. it. Hey, yeah. Also, How do you know that? Of that? Also, how do you know that? Because as a child, I didn't wipe my ass. <laughs> no, <laughs> ick. Jeremy's so. But I was though. so tiny. I was so tiny. I was so so tiny. She, it, it's like, how old was a child, Esther? Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> no. One hundred fifty-two months. <laughs> you all didn't wipe your ass until your mom. I was wiping my ass at one years old. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. I was. I was hey. letting my fingers slip on my asshole. When I was one year. <laughs> yeah, dude. Guys, let's be real. Hey, I got a question for you though. Uh-huh. In that scenario, <laughs> I don't think that you have a clean poop every time. What if you get a little? I kernel? do have a clean poop no, every time. I take psilium husk. Yeah, but it's some, one wipe. Hey, and guys, the, old, the second one is for courtesy. Hey, when you had a ginsel that one day, you had liquid. You yeah, that the bowl. was also one wipe. When it's liquid, that's when it's the best. <laughs> You're not allowed to wipe. What? You're not a, in the scenario. Oh, yeah, you're not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now you're walking with liquid in your pants. No, no, all I day. sit on that shit till that shit dries solid, and then I get <laughs> yeah. out. And that's when it smells the most. Uh, too bad. It's either okay, that okay, or no time out, time out. Then let's say, Bro, let's this say. This is a fuck, Mary, kill. I'm hey. not saying that I would ideally like to stop fucking wiping my ass. Okay, I have my answer then. What's your answer? Okay, so I would marry brushing my teeth because having teeth pain is the worst, right? Uh-huh. Okay, mm. and then uh, I'm killing showering. I would have to say killing shower. Oh, but then your hair is gonna be all stringy and Stinky greasy and nasty. Stinky as hell. You well, start no, radiating actually. it. I've seen sh- I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to the military. I'm gonna slick it back <laughs> <laughs> with the oils that I have, and I'm, I'm going. Ugh. They're all gonna right, make well, you shave your head in the military. Comment down below oh, who's fuck Mary kill of the hygienics you would uh, you 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 vibe with the most. Okay, we got a special bonus round of fuck <laughs> Mary kill. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got. Fuck Mary Kill. Wu Talk today? Benjamin Franklin Wu Talk? Wait, pop it up. Short hair Wu Talk. Woo! Uh, fuck you guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, Esther, you go. You go first. I'll be the fuck out of that Wu Tang. Like, beat him You're up. Beat like, him up. That's not an option. <laughs> okay, beat him up to death. Okay, so that's kill. Yeah. He, he, Benjamin he Franklin is being killed. <laughs> he died. Damn. That's a yeah. forefather right there. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered electricity for you. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are you going to hate on him? Also, uh, well, actually, no, that talk was pretty nice, though. Uh, Damn, I don't know about that either, but okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, that's because you, you annoying us how to deal with And then that's it. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, what the fuck? I can't say the other two. <laughs> it's not even a, a fun game. I have a man, you go. I'm, I'm going to... I'm a... I'm going to fuck this Wu Talk. This one right okay. here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why, why, why not marry this one? <laughs> What's wrong with this one? Because <laughs> this I'm not, one. I'm not, I'm not cuff worthy. This one, this one high maintenance, you know? Like it went to this version of why he's so beautiful, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Very high maintenance. Wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to marry that. I'm marrying. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm marrying. I'm marrying. Sh- yeah, I'm marrying Benjamin Franklin Wu Talk because, you know, that's when he was a little. You know, he's older, wiser. I'm younger in that picture. He looks older, wiser. And <laughs> hey, you got a lazy eye going on in that photo. It's just the angle of the camera. Oh yeah, that shit looking crazy. Wait, the right how eye. My, that's how my eyes. And then I'm. Look. And then I'm. I'm. I'm killing short hair Wu Talk. Uh, you never even met short hair Wu Talk. Yeah, that's I, why I, I know. Right it's, it's easier to kill him. Okay. Just take him out back. I got the you. right answer. I would kill you now. <laughs> what the Why fuck? Is that the right nah, because because you have too high of an ego now. You know too much about yourself, right? Mm. You're on your you're your own man now. What does I that would, even mean? You don't want to kill the ego. Wow, kill that's the deep. ego exactly. I would. This is crazy. I would marry short hair. We'll talk because that was you at your youngest. I can mold you into what I want. Oh. And I would fuck. Benjamin Franklin would talk because you have low esteem. You hated yourself at that point. <laughs> so in bed, I could have been like, "You like that, you little, you little, you little pig." Say oink oink. What the fuck? Hold on, I wasn't even, I wasn't even that fat. <laughs> he wins. We got, we gotta fucking get the fuck up. Hey, y'all wanted me to talk on the podcast? I'm hey, talking. That got, was the best answer. We're going outside. Uh, that was that. <laughs> no rebuttals. Fuck, which fuck one, this game. Which one are you doing? Huh? Which one are you I'm doing? I'm marrying all three of them. Because <laughs> they need love. Because <laughs> their friends hate them. He said, you like that? Oink, oink. You like that? <laughs> uh.
Fuck you, guys, uh, man. Wait, short haired Wu Tong is basically Nick. You never heard of kinky sex, man? <laughs> no, I only. And <laughs> role playing? You said you love role playing. Oh, God, that shit was funny. God, I, I don't even like how do you, it. How do, you, how do you feel about that? Your role play is my so little disgusting. Bacon. Actually? Oh. <laughs> Did you hear this piece of shit? <laughs> I need water. That shit was crazy. Oh, yeah, that, that was the worst question we've ever <laughs> asked on this podcast. Yeah. Remember when we're arguing about who gets the most bullied and then multiple questions in a row, it's like, oh, what Lion King character are you? You're the Warhog. I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally the most in shape one here. Second, and then, and then somehow the conversation goes to Little Mermaid, and I'm Ursula, and I'm not the most bullied. Why is there no fuck Mary kill Jeremy stages? Hey, hey, he doesn't have stages. Hey, hold up. Warhogs are strong. <laughs> The fuck are you telling? You ever seen? Go look, go pull also, up YouTube right not, now. Not only look at warhogs. a weak, look at a weed, weak warhog. They're we out said, there fucking, <laughs> fucking chopping down fucking tree stumps and we like. We said Pumbaa. Sp- exactly, yeah. it's even worse. At least the real warhogs are out there being savage and but shit. Pumbaa Puma is a fan favorite. Pumbaa's a fat fuck. <laughs> Holy, how dare you say that about Pumbaa? You saw Pumbaa sprinting down the log? <laughs> Who are you in a pup body shape, Pumbaa? Yeah. <laughs> Pumbaa's hey, a great Pumbaa singer. was nimble. <laughs> 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 <sighs> You're just oh taking my. these compliments and trying. Hey, you're just Puma. trying to take these. <laughs> these Puma, we don't stand with Wu Tang. We, <laughs> we would love to have you on the show. <laughs> I am fueled by insecurities placed here by my so-called friends. Sorry, I've gone to the gym <laughs> seven times this week because of your fucking oh comments. Permission to laugh out loud. <laughs> Permission denied. Puma. <laughs> that sure looks like Jinx when she laughs silently. <laughs> oh man, I love vaping. Uh, uh, all right, all right, guys, so settle down, settle down. You have fun. <laughs> hey, whoa, <laughs> you brought up the Pumba thing. I didn't know that was a compliment. You took it as a fucking diss. <laughs> what about Don't be so sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because I'm being compared to Pumba for his lighthearted and whimsical nature. That's why. Yeah, yeah and he's a fan favorite. Yeah, and then and then the second comparison was Ursula. So I see the comparison between those two. I just want to. They're shared qualities. I never, I never said they're not. They're not similar. That's that's between you and him. No, no, no. Didn't we say he was the? No, he was the evil girl version. Yeah, Yeah, he was the bad bitch version, and I was the fucking the fat witch. No, 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 no. Not body type. Just more power. (laughs) She's powerful. She's really strong. Hey, you know. Hey, she's got a strong. I I got a seagull. She's got a strong personality, and she's memorable. Yeah. Um, and she has great tits. Anyways, that's the show. Hey. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> hey, she has great tits. Who talks like? She we got knockers on there. Anyways. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I can continue. <laughs> speaking of speaking of uh, n- never wiping your ass. Uh, I de- we haven't spoke about that in like 15 minutes. What are you talking about? I see what you're trying to do, though. <laughs> Thank you, King. So you never wipe your ass. Continue. Yeah, I don't wipe my ass. And, and today uh, I had to do something. It was a very interesting experience. So as you guys know, I'm chronically ill. And I've been recently seeing a health doctor. And one of the things that I have to do was a stool test. And they basically mail you a kit. And you have to basically harvest your shit, put it in a little jar... And then mail it off for them so you to grab your shit with your bare hands, you dirty fuck. No, I did. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. But it was way so. So I, I'm imagining Esther waiting underneath him. I'm over here like push, dude. <laughs> it was way hard. So first of all, I open up the box. They give me blue gloves, a little test tube with some liquid, and it's a it's like a French fry tray, like a Mc, uh, imagine an In and Out tray where they serve French fries. That's how big it is. I'm like, what is the position in which I aim? Like, I don't put it on the bathroom floor. I I can't aim that well. What if it's a big shit? And I'm like, where do I put this french fry tray? So first I put it, I close the toilet toilet lid, and I put it on top. And I was sitting there with the blue gloves on that they give you, and I'm trying to aim it. And I'm like, I don't want to do like a too big of a log, so I'm trying to control the amount that comes out. Is this gross? Yeah. Just continue. Okay. I I love you, so So, it's so, So then what I had to do, or what I, my genius brain... First, I tried to turn, cut my water and flush the toilet. I was like, if I poop in an empty toilet, it'll just uh, 
You just I? grab it out of there? Yeah. You nasty well, fuck. Well, okay, so here's the thing. The test tube that you have to put it in is about this big. It's like that big and that weird. And when you and, and that wide, right? And then we gotta, when you... We got to stop letting him come up with topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is wrong with you? Oh, my bad. Maybe you, you have to do this, too. So he's just letting you yeah, know Yeah, maybe when I'm 50. Yeah, so no, no, hey, hey, but to be honest, I'm explaining my health journey for people in okay, case. Okay, man. Tell the, tell the rest of the journey. Because you have to do this. And, and anyways, you guys should all take this test regardless because it tests your gut. Okay. Uh, so which is the continue. most, which is the second brain of your body. Okay, get okay. get to Super the important. further part of the journey. But let me just explain. So the tube, when you unscrew the lid, the top is literally, have you guys seen like the ketamine spoons? No. <laughs> like, have you seen, like, a drug spoon that people wear at music festivals so they could scoop ketamine? And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how big the fucking spoon is. And you're telling me that I got to scoop my shit with a fucking tiny ass? It's, like, literally a pinky nail, a half of a pinky nail. I'm like, what? Yeah, because they don't need that much shit. No, no, He's no. trying to, like, fill the hole. No, 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 no. That's what I thought. I was like, oh, I just got to put a little kernel. And then I look at the instructions, and here's, here's how long the tube is. It's pretty wide. It's, like, a typical... And it's there's a line... More than half, three quarters up. It's like, you must fill above the line. Uh, I'm like, what the... And then, and then in the diagram, they're like, you need to scoop different parts. So anyways, I'm like figuring out how I can aim to poop in this tray. And so basically what I do is I saran wrap the top of my toilet. So I like... my Mentally, I'm thinking that I'm still there. And then I balance the, the french fry tray. And I had to like control the amount. And I was... I was you know how that shit grosses me out? Blood... Dirty smells. I was sitting there dry. You're shitting blood? No, 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 no. You know how oh, blood I get grosses. grossed out easily. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm sitting there doing the activity that I have to do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I almost threw, I almost yeah. threw up like multiple Wait, times. Wait, you do that with yeah. your own shit? I almost not? threw up just listening to you yeah. tell the story. Why, did, why didn't you just grab a bigger spoon? Because then he would just have to throw away. I his didn't spoon. have a plastic spoon. There's so didn't many plastic use... spoons. I'm Asian. I always say a those. metal spoon uh, is not worth your peace of mind. Oh, those are all mine. He doesn't own. A, he doesn't own anything. <laughs> Jeremy, I could have just. I could have just done it for you. But I have a question. So if they get that sample and they do that test, they fig- they can figure out that much. Yeah. That much about. Yeah, they, yeah, they do a whole microbiome. Yeah, they do a just whole by a analysis. piece of shit. Yep. yep. Well, what if you have like pieces. a thyroid problem? Thyroid. Yeah. I think I have a thyroid problem. There's yeah. ways to there's ways there's to ways heal ways your to thyroid. Test everything, yeah. Yeah, there's ways. So so basically, what I'm doing in this process. Oh, this so this is the interesting part. I'm sorry to gross you guys out. <laughs> it was just a very weird experience, like having to. Anyways, yeah, we'll, is, we'll move on very, from that. It, is it was gross. weird though. So you put it in a special, obviously toxic, safe bag. Then you put that in another ba- box. Then you put that in a bag, and I have to like send it through FedEx, and it was just hilarious <laughs> handing the guy. Handing I just felt shy. Shit. I was like, here you go. He's like, you, you like a receipt for this? I'm like, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> but so here's the interesting process. So I got on this call with this doctor. His name is Dr. Wakely. Shout out Sebastian, actually. He's a watcher of this podcast. So I purposely would talk about um, my health problems on this podcast because I knew there's got to be somebody out there that has dealt with this and knows of a what they're called as neuropathic doctors or it's called... Um, Dun, 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 Fuck, dun, I'm forgetting. Dun, dun, dun. It's basically doctors that don't believe in just prescribing you antibiotics and medicine. Yeah. And I knew, and so I knew there's somebody out there that would have a doctor that wasn't like through the earth prices. So this guy, Dr. Wakely, uh, he, he recommends me this guy, Dr. Wakely, get on the phone call with him. And this guy's in Washington. And, and I talk for an hour and he basically wants to learn everything about my life from when I was younger, growing up, like supplements, how I was saying, what are you grinning about? You just wanted a friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not a doctor. See ya. <laughs> you called the wrong number, buddy. But anyways, and, and, and through it all, right, there's, there's so much information out there about your health. Like there's people like Joe Rogan, there's uh, Huberman, Andrew Huberman, Gary Brecka, Tim Ferriss, and they put out these like v- clips that go super viral and they go on all these podcasts and spread all, th- all this information, they'll be like, intermittent fasting is so important or even carnivore MD. You got to eat an all meat diet or whatever it is. And so throughout my life, I'm like, okay, I eat super healthy, like clean foods. I intermittent fast. Once a week, I started 36 hour fasting, like all those things. And when I get on the phone with this guy and he tell my life story he, and I just kind of tell him what my current life is, like it's fast moving, like just business all the time, working, like I like to be active. He was like, okay, I don't have your test yet, and I can't diagnose you exactly yet, but something tells me that you should eat breakfast. So let's just start. He's like, four times a week, start eating a healthy breakfast. 
And in that moment, my brain just kind of clicked where I was like, yeah, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Like, it's so often that people will go out and just take a bunch of podcast information just because it sounds good. And and they're like, we ran these tests and all these studies. (laughs) But those people that are then take, like me just taking that advice and not doing as much as pooping in a jar and seeing what that comes back as or like getting a blood, like have any of you gotten your blood markers done recently? No. So it's like all these people are out there and probably what they're saying is tested and good, but the people that are taking the advice have never even analyzed their own body. So I just thought that was an interesting thing. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because <clears throat> your friend is allergic to like spinach and ham yeah. and spinach is... It's Very supposed to be acidic. good for you, right? No, it's and not good for you. No, but people people think spinach is yeah. good for you because it's greens, right? Popeye, and Popeye, uh, what's it called? Conspiracy. Yeah, and so like everyone's just like, you have to get in your greens. You have to eat this, 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 whatever. And he's probably eating a lot of it, but in reality, it's it was attacking his body. Yeah, exactly. So yep. like. What works for one person is not going to work for another person. Like one person could fast because that's what they should do, mm-hmm. but not necessarily what you should do. The, what I was going to say is that yeah, the key to health is literally supplementing for deficiencies. Everyone sees like some miracle supplement, and they're like, "Oh, I need that," but it's like your body could not be deficient in the things that thing provides while it's like draining you of something else that your body does need. So it's like mm-hmm. you can literally be taking healthy shit, doing healthy shit, and it's mm-hmm. killing you because it's not what your body needs. Yeah. I'm scared and to take this test because what if the, uh, what if that doctor tells me I have to fast? <laughs> I would I would literally be like I, Why don't I need just to take go. a multivitamin. <laughs> no, I mean I mean those multivitamins are good. are good. Yeah, so yeah. he's like he's like I was telling him the different supplements I'm taking. He's like you're doing all the right things. He was like again, he's like I got to get your test, but my inkling after working with thousands of people, he's like either you're you have a immune deficiency, like you're not properly <laughs> given <laughs> you're deficient. <laughs> Why would you shame me? It's just something Do you like, not think technology is to the point where they could create like almost like a senzu bean that just gives you all the nutrients? That's coming. The, that's coming. They're trying Super to Super Bonsai 2027. <laughs> They're, 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 they're trying, like Soylent and Huel. They're both companies where it's like all your nutrients in this, like, But that's the goo. issue is that you're not, it's not tailored to you. Right? What the fuck is Soylent and what is it called? Huel. These, these, are, these are companies. But, yeah. And they basically, it's just nutritious packs of like fucking supplements you're not getting from your food. But there are things, you might not be magnesium deficient. You're definitely magnesium deficient. But a lot of people are magnesium deficient. But you might hear that online, like, oh, magnesium glycinate helps me sleep. And then you're chugging magnesium glycinate, but it's not fixing anything because you were never magnesium deficient while somebody else may be. So you need to be looking for what you're deficient in and replacing that specifically, not just taking something that encompasses everything. I have a funny um, <laughs> magnesium glycinate study. Why are you flipping me off? Because my aura ring. Oh, okay. And it has to do with this. So I was, my, uh, I was talking to my buddy and he always posts his sleep score. And he says the sleep aid mattress actually legit, actually changed his sleep. And his sleep score is always incredible. So he tracks by the mattress and he has an aura ring. And I'm like, bro, I've never gotten over like 84. And 84 is like, I'm lucky. A score is 100 is perfect. And he was like, bro, he's like, the thing that changed it for me was eye mask, sleep aid mattress, and magnesium glycinate. And he was like, I tried the other stack. It was like L-theanine and whatever. But he's like, magnesium three and eight was the one or glycinate was the one that really made the difference. So I bought it and I tried it and I, I take it for the first couple of weeks and I noticed that I ha- I'm dreaming way more. Like I'm, rem- at least I'm waking up and remembering the dreams. I'm like, whoa, this is weird. And then when I looked at my percentage over the last three weeks, my REM and my deep sleep has gone up 10 to 15 to 20%. Nice. Taking the three, the, the, the three and eight stack. And yep. I think that that is happening. Um, yeah, now my body it took like three weeks for it to adapt. So. Yep. Super interesting to or see you because just I don't sip on some drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you can't sleep till eight in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, but like cosmetically, like when I wake up, I don't feel like I got more. Sl- I feel a little bit better actually. But seeing that data, you'd be taking the magnet. She was like, oh, "It's not working for me." But I'm like, "You probably don't know that it's working for you." Yeah. Because it's it's not no. like you're used to like fucking sleeping pills that just knock you the fuck out, and you're like, "Oh, it's not the same effect." But yeah. it's really like a subtle. I'm getting more yeah. efficient sleep in the time, the same time that I sleep. I don't think magnesium could defeat these demons. <laughs> yeah, because you you're deficient in like a trillion things. You, yeah. It's very easy to look at like your diet of like may, like maybe 
Are you, you good now? If you're lucky, you got 1% of a human's nutritional yeah. value. Guys, that maybe we should do this. Maybe we should all go and do this. You should. And then, co- and then come back and then yeah. we should discuss it. Um, I mean, I'm, I've been documenting my journey so people could see like what yeah. it comes back also, as. Also, on, on my health page, which, which we're rebranding as Super Bonsai Health, where uh, I'm going to be doing all these things. So like liver, I'm getting my liver tested. Every, every aspect, every trackable enzyme I can track in my liver, I'm testing it right now. And then I'm, I'm R&Ding like a daily liver tincture that's supposed to detoxify and support your liver regeneration. So then I'm taking that daily for a month and then retesting my liver. Ooh. And then if we if we see that there's been genuine benefit, I'm dropping a liver tincture. Are you gonna Are you gonna like stress test it? Are you gonna like drink on it and like? No, because uh, I'm I'm already not drinking, so I'm gonna test it from like my like I've already I've been off for like a month now, right? So then I'm gonna just test. I'm testing on Wednesday, filming it, and then I'm doing the liver tincture. Our sample, or we just are indeed the first uh, prototype of it. Taking that daily. See, and it's all natural ingredients, so it's like miracle plants like burdock root, dandelion, milk thistle, right? That's all known to like re- help your liver regenerate. Man's frolicking in the fields, <laughs> harvesting dandelions. That's the content I wish I could make. Yeah. Like gardening and like frolicking content. But instead, I'm over here like... <laughs> Pass the muddler. <laughs> Beef. Beef. <laughs> Hey, Wait, no, uh, so my question about that, you know what would be good for that is you should also test with someone that just drinks. You should test with me. Test your friend and just make him yeah. take it every day. You're a little, you're, you you do a lot of things, though, that I feel like your liver has to process. Yeah, but you should just test oh, so someone who's good. like a regular person <laughs> that drinks regularly, goes out yeah, once yeah. a week. That's me. Well, well you're going to you drink then no, while no, you no. don't. No, but I've only been off of the, the drink for like a month. Like, it's not like my liver Wait, is back I to, might be the perfect candidate. You don't drink either. I haven't seen you drink in a while. I'm confused. I do drink I have yesterday. a good liver or not? No, you do not. You definitely do not have oh. a good liver. <laughs> I drank yesterday. You did? And I took super bonsai and I gave it to all my friends. And good shit. No, no hangover. Oh, you're trying to find a good liver to compare yourself against? <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, what? Why? I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. I'm going to just test my own liver. <laughs> and then well, were- what's, Whatever state it is, it doesn't need to be good or bad, right? Because then I'm going to be taking my prototype, a completely natural liver detoxifying support tincture, right? Yeah. Take it every day and then retest myself at the end of it. Check the enzyme levels and everything. To see if it's actually done what it's supposed to do. And then if it has, I'm going to drop it. So why was I brought into this conversation? (laughs) We weren't. You inserted yourself. (laughs) I created an idea that at the same time, he should just get like a regular, because he lives, he's not drinking. He's just living a healthy life. So then if he got like a, let's say a college student, and let's say the college student goes out once a weekend, whatever. age. But you, what's up? Oh, so that's that's where I got confused. I know, but he was saying that because you're there's like you're vaping and it's like hard. It's you're like vaping, you're eating. You're probably food. doing so many things that are fighting your liver. Yeah. No liver tissue well, gonna save you. That's what y'all want is a bad no, liver. Yeah, I know, but it's not like a miracle. Like, I have the worst liver here. Yeah, yeah. No, I we, don't want. I don't want to be fighting the the fucking because uh, you got a lot more things to do. Before actually, no, maybe that is a good one, but we'll see. Yeah. Right, as of right now, I'm just gonna do myself. I think but you that guys don't a, give me that enough credit. An you know what? Super- I think my liver is better than you think. I put money on it. <laughs> <laughs> Better than I think, maybe, but I'm thinking it's very shitty. Hey, so. imagine like being offended and trying to defend your liver. <laughs> My liver would beat the shit out of your liver. <laughs> you know, like um, David Dobrik's friend, how he just he has sells a protein powder, but he just does health transformations to yeah. everybody that was in the Ilya? crew. Yeah, and they do millions of views because everybody recognizes them, and the transformations are crazy. Like that's a funny ongoing series. It's like okay, it works on your liver. Let's test his liver. You yeah. know. It's just all well, your friends' livers. Anyways, maybe you. Uh, maybe we'll do you as a test subject. So what your friends paid? think? Was that your first time? Was that their first time trying Super Bonsai? No, I, I gave them each like a bottle. Oh. Yeah. You just had hella bottles to hand out? Damn. I bought a bunch. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah I bought I you bought. You didn't see my reviews? No. Oh. I literally, I literally yeah. bought so many, so I just handed them out. Let's go. Yeah. Hell and then yeah. and then and then they're always like, thank you. They, they love use it. it. Nice. Yeah. I like yeah. that shit. <laughs> Anyways. Um, now that we're done with the poop topic, we've got something completely unrelated to poop. Is that okay with you, Jerry? That was 15 it's minutes related. ago. We were on livers. Are you sure? Talking about shit. Let's talk about my fucking ex. <laughs> <laughs> Transition king. Fire. But uh, do any of you guys have a one that got away story? Let's start with Esther. I thought I did mm. a while back. I haven't left though. 
<laughs> a while a while back, uh -huh. but I realized it was just delusion. Or was it just lack of closure? There was a lack of closure as well, but then it was also okay. So like I really like I thought I really really liked this guy, and it but but I I remember like breaking up with him because I was just like. I was like, nah, dude, this guy has too many, like, issues, like, and he's too reliant on his friends. And, like, I just found, like, like things that I was like, I do like this guy, but I know that deep down inside, like, he's not the one. Describe so, him in detail. Uh, he was just troubled. No, dad. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, hear me out. Hear me out. I got, I, no, 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 no. Hear me out. It played a... No, Crazy listen, thing to listen. Start off it, no, no. It... <laughs> I said describe him and the first thing was no dad. And that doesn't no, paint any picture in my though? mind. No, because he would talk about it all the time. Okay. Okay, he would talk so about it. Clear then, daddy issues. Yes, yes, yes. Clear daddy issues. And then on top of that, he hated his mom. And, oh. and I and I want and so I want both issues. He has daddy yes, mommy yes, issues. Yes. But I want someone that would that love their family. Mm. He he didn't like him. So he would always talk shit about his mom. And that was Damn. like, that was a turn off to me, obviously, yeah, yeah. right? Was his mom shitty or something or like? Well, I don't really know her, but they lived in the same house. By the way, at the, at the time he was 29. So he was still mm. living with his parents Damn. or his mom. How, um, old are, how, old are, how old were you at the time? Uh, 16. <laughs> <laughs> how old was I? You're a victim. <laughs> I, was, I was way younger because I'm young now. Then <laughs> 16? <laughs> All right, come on. How, was, how old were yeah. you? I, I don't remember. You don't remember I, at all? I would have to count. I have really okay. bad memories. So I would have to count. But you're younger than him, obviously. Way younger, yeah. yeah. I was way younger. Um, and then what else? Uh, and then so because he didn't have like uh, close family members, uh -huh. he would always rely on his friends. But it was crazy to the point where like if he had to, if he wanted to buy something, he has to ask all his friends. <gasps> he eats, he eats. Just like me for with, real. With his friends every <laughs> single day. He meets up with his friends at like the same like spot, like tea spot every single day. Well, like they pay for him or? No, 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 no. Like oh, they, they, did he have like, a job at least? He had a job at a restaurant. Oh, so. Sh so like, so, so no, it's not shitty or anything. He, he made a lot of money. But then the thing was, he was so reliant. Like he could not like stand a day without his friends. Oh, so like if I was to go on a date with him, his friends are there. What's wrong with that? Yeah, it sounds like, what's his name? I'm trying to be his boy. <laughs> okay, but come on. Look, come on. Come on, what? Wait, he would literally Every have time a... I make a purchase, I call each one of them and I tally that's, it up. No, that's fine, but his was like literally for every single thing. Like, I would, like, I'm, he would I'm ask. I'm telling you, I'm at the grocery store mm -hmm. and I'm on FaceTime with Jeremy. Like, Jeremy, should I get this? And then, and I'm like, one to ten, should I get it? <laughs> and then if it's not above a seven, I don't buy it. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. I knew I heard. For every item a, I knew I heard store. a woman's voice from the other side. <laughs> this is not a woman's told, voice, <laughs> and you told me it wasn't. I may, have, to... I may have some womanly features, <laughs> but my voice is not one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Facts. So when, anyways, he, when he's about to fuck a girl, he calls me. No, okay. One to ten. Hey, hey, pose for my boy real quick. Would you? And then if, he's like, <laughs> if he says yes, then I'll do it. Okay. And when but, I say no, he still does it. Oh <laughs> Okay, but basically, yeah. I but he had a lot of issues. I just I just didn't see all those like, uh -huh. you know, those those bad things. What was so I was great like, about him that made you ignore his issues? Yeah. Sounds like a laundry I list was of issues. No, no, I would have noticed like that I, right no, away. No, like I said, I was younger, right? First of all, I was younger. He was very, very like he was very, very sweet. Besides all that other shit, and um, <laughs> aesthetically, what did he look like? Uh, just super tatted. Oh wow! Like how many tattoos you got, Jeremy? Too? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Super tight, like People neck, neck mind. to like all the way. Oh damn! Yeah, and and uh, yeah. I think at the time I was like, was he Korean as well, or what no. was he? What was he? He was something else. Asian? He was, he, or? Was still, he was still Asian though. Okay. But yeah, he. But then yeah, I really, really like liked because I love tattoos and like piercings and stuff, and he had that. So. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm thinking at about getting a couple of tattoos tomorrow. <laughs> At the time, I was younger. Like I, that was that's what. Do you like, think you've matured and like grown? Oh out yeah, of that? like I don't even care about shit like that. <laughs> Just kidding, canceling the appointment. <laughs> Tattoos are so stupid. Do you think it's like a a young girl thing to young be girl into thing? That yeah, I was young. I was aesthetic? young. Yeah. So so basically, um, that so happened. then are you saying that if you're like, let's say you're like a thirty year old girl and you're still into that, are you bugging? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. It's just that like as you. Get older. Uh -huh. um, you just have different priorities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And at the time, oh. I was like, yeah, that was basically like when I see someone with like tattoos, I'm like, oh, that looks cool because uh -huh. I like tattoos. And so you prioritize cool looking. Cool looking. Uh, it she was still uh, it prioritizes was, cool looking. It was. 
Gushy. <laughs> Different type of cool looking. I think I feel like I'm digging myself in, in, in a hole. But okay, let's just get back to. to I feel the like story. it's working. I feel like you're negging him into being a better boyfriend. No, this guy's perfect. I'm cool. He's oh shit, Catdolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool when it's Catdolf. This guy is like this guy is literally the best person I've ever met. My favorite in my shirt. Life. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Anyway, so yeah. But I, I knew that I was like, you know what? Even then, <laughs> even when I was young, I was like, I can't. What? <laughs> He's still laughing about <laughs> it. Shirt is so fucking he wears this every single time. I haven't I, seen it in months. Yeah, I haven't worn it in a while. Yeah. No. I dug it out the closet. Great shirt. I live with him, so I yeah. see it. Esther tried to throw it away, and Jeremy comes no, this back one, in this wearing this shirt. No, this one is one of the shirts I think is cute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like cats. Oh, man. Yeah. Going on? Um, where was I? So yeah, but even back then I was just like, okay, there's too many things about him that I'm not gonna yeah. want to okay. have in a man, right? Wait, wait, I feel like we've completely, what is, how is he the one that got away? <laughs> yeah, you, you told me to explain, no? Yeah. And then, yeah. She thought at first and then realized. Yeah, realized. And but then you, you asked, you asked me to describe okay, him no, and no, stuff. So, but I'm thinking of where is the getting away part? So you broke up with him because of what? Because he was yeah, a bum like, or like? Yeah, like that. But then I, he was always in the back of my head. Like, oh. I was like, damn, every single time I go on, like, dates until and stuff. Until when? Um, this was a while, while ago. But until when did you stop thinking about him like that? Mm, I would say, like, four or five years. Four oh, or four, maybe so four a years? while, a while ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly, four years. But he <laughs> did text me while I was, because he saw me on the podcast, because uh, I kept popping up. And pull then, up your phone. We're responding yeah, back then, right now. <laughs> and then, and then... At the time when he when he texted me, that's when I was like, oh, I don't even I didn't even think about you. Mm -hmm. I even like I don't even like you like anymore. So like when he texted like, oh, like I seen you here, like you know you're doing so well and stuff. I was just like, thanks. That was it. Nice. And like and then he would try to like talk, but yeah. I would be like, like I literally just stopped responding. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm over it. But <laughs> we also we weren't together at the time. But I was just like over it. But mm -hmm. in my head, like for like maybe a year or so, I always thought. Maybe this guy was the one that like I let slip. Uh, Wait, I feel like the one that got away has to be more than a year post breakup. Like you think? What? Well, no, no for hers, for hers, you're right. But for hers, she she, she had was a saying good, that yeah. like after a while, she's like, wait a second, this is not yeah, one. That I'm, got I'm away. saying when when people talk about like the one that got away, right? It's years down the line, not the normal year after where you're dealing with the breakup and you're still like not mm. over them. Yeah, yeah exactly. The one that, so. So she's saying that she felt that way, felt that way, felt that way. I realized it wasn't. And then wait a second, it just one day just ended. No, it. No, because there's some breakups where I'm like forever. Yeah, there's some breakups where I was just like, there's lingering breakups. Yeah, there's breakups where I've blocked them and I don't think about them again. And there's breakups where like, even while I date other women, I'm like, damn, what about that one? And and no, and I'm saying this because I'm like, I usually don't let people wander like you know stay in my head but Linger. this guy was always like even if i was like dating other people he was always in the back of my head so i was always like should i give him another chance should i give him like i would always uh, think that it? huh how big was it <laughs> you, is that a new necklace yeah nice. someone made this for me really yeah. oh it was not jeremy i'm smiling too much huh? my cheeks hurt jeremy made it no no someone made this for me was it the one who got away <laughs> <laughs> yeah he makes jewelry uh, <laughs> but yeah no but then he yeah he oh for some reason he always stayed in there mm. rent free and then yeah i did i did message him once though i did m message him once myself like when? years ago oh, okay like years ago but then um, it's, it, it keeps being like a war. Yeah. No, it, it literally, 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 it, literally, it, it go, it, it's always like this. And I'm like, oh no, he's not the one. No, but maybe no, he no, is. No, that's not what we were saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, wait, what? What? Okay. Conversation. Every time you say something like that, yeah. all of us are like, <gasps> I'm, I, I and we all look at Jerry. Jerry. And then yeah. I'm like, how long ago? And you're like, oh no, no, way longer. Yeah. Like, oh. But but la last week we were talking about how um. You were talking to him last week. No. <laughs> you remember how I told you that. Sometimes you think that they're the ones that got away because you think about potential, mm -hmm. but it's all delusional. Yep. Like this person it's all really that didn't happen. Exactly. You're always fantasizing about this person and like what like, oh, he could have been or whatever. And it's just like, no, he was never that. You just like, keep thinking it because it never happened. I feel like you got one. Me? I see you over there looking off into the distance. <laughs> Reminiscing. Yeah. Is there one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was like not it, it's not anymore but it was like I think the first girl like I fell in love with it was never like a 
a bad like breakup or anything. It was just kind of like situationally, it didn't work out because she lived in Thailand. And so it was like, lady boy. Wait, she lived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this don't one. Talk about her like that, you know, <laughs> Hey, we'll you, talk. Is this the one? Drink, <laughs> we'll turn you into a lady boy. How Wait, we'll that? talk. Is this the one where she had a guy and yeah, you had yeah, to? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the one you hid behind the curtain? <laughs> I was naked on the balcony sitting yeah, yeah, there yeah. In, the, in, the, in the winter in, in, uh, in New York, just like, damn. damn. I'm bugging how, out. How many years until you kind of like it faded out your brain? So that made me like fade it out much faster, but how that you? was like a year in between when. I met her till she came back. So for a full year, yeah, it was like, and we weren't in like constant contact the whole year because I was at college, like. Well, so doing you were my young. Thing. It was like yeah, 20, yeah. I met her when I was nineteen. And then when I think I met her when I was eighteen. I turned nineteen. And you guys started like dating when? Uh, we never like officially dated. So like when I met her, she was literally. So we met. This was when Tinder was like first a thing, and I like went on. Everyone was on there because they're like, "What the fuck, a dating app." First girl that I actually ended up going on a date with, and I like fell in love with her, and then uh, and then like we were just like basically dating. And how old was yeah, she? She was twenty while I was eighteen, and then she turned twenty one. Wait, so have you tried to look her up? Like, oh, we're, I still know her. Yeah. Oh, on on so, you guys are friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, we she came to L. A. a long time, like while I, I lived in L. A. I gotta see her. She came to L. A. while I lived in L. A. And then um. She like hit me up and was like, oh, I'm going to be in L.A. Like if you want to like meet up, I'm like, yeah. And then I hung out with her with like because I also had like another friend visiting from New York. So I hung out. I like made everyone hang out all together. Eddie was there. And then uh, and then, yeah. And he was so Eddie obviously knew the story. And he was like, ah, he's like, I could see like the chemistry. And I was just like, yeah, Did but it's, it's like but I'm like too old. I'm like a completely different person now. Did Is she a completely different person yeah. as well? Yeah. Yeah, well, she got engaged and shit. Like it was, and then like didn't work out because of COVID. Like they felt they like basically fell out of love. Like crazy oh. shit happened. So uh, it's literally been ten love. years, right? So it's like, yeah. when when you saw her again, did it? Sp and you hung out with her. Did it spark anything? Or you're yeah, like not like immediate. It wasn't like on first sight, like falling in love. But then us hanging out and just like the person she is. You know what I mean? It was just like, ah, uh, I remember why I cared about you so much. Damn, I, I forgot dude. the story. Was she cheating on her boyfriend with you? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come back. Mm. Yep. So yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably no future there. <laughs> and also, yeah, I don't really feel I don't like. It was after that where I didn't really feel that intense. Like, like the, when she left the second time, I didn't cry. Okay. It was almost like a thank God, like I'm out that. Oh, well, you cried the first time. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the first time I cried over a woman. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, with that? What are you laughing at me for? Yeah, man? What's wrong with that? I'm not. I'm not Laughing. Well, we can't be vulnerable because of you. No, I'm not laughing. It's just funny that he goes, that the second time I didn't cry. <laughs> Do you think one of the reasons why it wouldn't have worked out or is because she, you know that you knew that she was a cheater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, okay. that, that, that was... affected me. Yeah, okay, 100%. Okay. That made me fall slightly out of love with her. Mm -hmm. He was standing on the balcony. Everyone's laughing at him. <laughs> He's like, you humiliated me. <laughs> There's a drone right next to him. <laughs> and he's I, end, the drone. I end up on like bar stool. <laughs> he's like, it's cold. It's crazy. But uh, but yeah, so th that was the one that got away from me for quite a while because it was just like there was no like she never like wronged me type shit. Like <laughs> she didn't wrong you? No, because like I knew what I was doing. Mm. Oh, you knew yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, time. It wasn't, yeah, she didn't hide anything from me. Dirt it was bag. all. Yeah, I was fucking 19, 20 in love. Bro, she's kind of crazy that she was like, by the way, I have a boyfriend, but let's still do but this. It, so, like, the way that situation was, was, like, we when we met and, like, basically, like, started to fall for each other, she would tell me, like, she's going back to back home to Thailand. She's like, there's this guy that's been pursuing. We're not anything. I've never done. I've never even gone on a date with him. He's constantly, like, you know what I mean? Like, trying to bag me. And then, um, and they're, like, family friends. It's, like, literally, like, in a drama, like, the most ideal match character but the girl doesn't want him, and then she finds some other guy that's like absolutely not a match. Where yeah, her pa also her parents yeah. are rich, right? Like the bum she's bartender. From like, yeah, she's from like I wasn't even a bartender; I was a waiter, so it was even worse. Oh, damn, this is so, straight up K drama. Legit. So it's like she goes to America for school, goes to Parsons, extremely expensive private school, right? Architect in school for architecture. Back home, she's got like basically arranged marriage type shit waiting for her, and she's like, I don't want him, and. Falls in love with basically a bum. <laughs> Dude, ba he's trying to say that he's the main character in a Korean drama. No, and no, no, no. I'm the si she's the main yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, he's the side. I'm the side character. Yeah. No, you would be the main character. Oh, and, 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 I probably his, am the main character. And, and, and the I'm guy the main character in everyone's storyline. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, so I meet her. 
We fall in love. She goes back. And it's a year before she comes back. But she's like, when she leaves, she's like, I will come back at, like, when I graduate, I'm going to come back. Don't worry. And I was like, and I see that she's started dating this guy, like, while she's out there. She's told me, like, I'm, I'm, I, that's my boyfriend now, basically. And then, like, you know, so, it, like, conversations kind of fizzle out. And then she's like, hey, I booked my ticket back to New York. And I'm like, why? Like, and, and then she's just like, I mean, I promised you that I'd come back. And I'm like, damn. I'm it's like. Straight out of movie. Yeah. And I'm like. All right, I'll I will we'll hang out when you get back. And obviously, when she got back, it was just like picking up right where we left off type feeling. And uh, and so she was working as an architect in the city and like had like a side. She was literally my sugar mom at the time because that <laughs> now I'm in college, right? So got no job. It's like summertime, right? I'm just she's at this like nice ass apartment in like Union Square. I'm just living there basically. Like we're going to like every that was like when I was doing Molly every weekend. <laughs> That's like, so crazy. I don't understand how people could two time. Like yeah. how could you spend I don't know. You, you can't be in love with two people at once. She, de- she didn't she love him. She didn't love this guy. She never loved this guy ever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, arranged. Like arranged marriage is different. Yeah, and oh. then they basically, like, yeah, they, they broke up when she went back, obviously. And then, um, but then, but at that point, like, it's, like, our connection had fully fizzled out. Like, I wasn't yeah. really trying to, like, Can't keep that picture? strong. I'll show you after, yeah. Okay. Hey, that's a straight up Korean drama. Yep. Wow. And then, and then the bum turns into me. <laughs> and I'm not a bum. <laughs> what about you? You have one? I think my second ex would be most classified. Or what? Be the closest. Be the closest, yeah. Just because I'd, I'd, like I've always said, like I truly respect her as a human being and as a, as a person. But I think my first heartbreak hurt me more. Mm. But now I hate her. Well, I don't even hate her. I just don't care about her. But yeah, my second ex... Yeah, but I'm, I'm like, it's weird because like I'm completely over her in like the relationship sense. Like I know I'll never date her again, um, but I do sometimes wonder if I was a different person going through different circumstances in that relationship would it have been different. I think so. Yeah. Just because I was on house arrest, my best friend died while I was on house arrest and fucking just like I was what, 21? Like, I, I hadn't figured out shit about shit yet. So, yeah, I was just, she got the worst version of me. And yeah. that was after my first ex, too. So, I, was, I didn't trust not once. Like, she could have been picture perfect, and I, I would have never have trusted, trusted yeah. her. Damn. So, thank God she wasn't picture perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, he had reason to be the way he yeah. is. It's not trust issues when you're always right. <laughs> Wait, do you? <laughs> what? No. Yeah, 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 he does. Remember, tell her about the... <laughs> that, that shorty you were talking to right before her. Oh, like that was, one? I met her. She was 6'8". <laughs> uh, <laughs> tattoos. Did you meet her? No. Not cross-eyed. I, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's no. crazy. I was making the opposite the one that The one that got away from me had a big-ass schlong. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He didn't. Wow, why don't you guys laugh when I say That wasn't like funny. That, that was painful. <laughs> That's like disgusting. What the hell? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Anywho. Gross. Hey, fuck you, man. Scoot away fuck from him. <laughs> yeah, stop touching. You don't deserve you. him. No, no, no. I, I, re- I, I remember him talking to a girl, and I remember saying, oh, show me. <laughs> and I saw her. And you didn't show her? <laughs> huh? Or you showed her? No, because we weren't, to- we weren't together. Like, I, it was like before I even hit That's on right, him. When so when, yeah, so when he was just like, yeah, I'm talking to this girl. She lives here. And like, uh, you know, and then I was just like, ooh, you're talking to someone? Let me see. Who? Where I she always live? put myself in this type Where of situation because I'm live? fucking nosy as hell. Huh? You are hella nosy. I know. So like during that time, I didn't know this was going to be my she man. Huh? She, she, she lived in like what Florida or something. Was it Miami? I don't remember. <laughs> my brain went blank. <laughs> yeah. um, she also even asked to see your ad. She was like, you got a picture? Yeah, she, she wants to what? see everything. Yeah. Wait, of what? Wait, are you oh, the type to ask your boyfriend about their exes and shit? Um... I mean, I like the tea. Um, Even if it makes you upset? I, I, I tell people not to ask. I'd be asking. <laughs> what about you? You never ask about the ex, do you? Or do you? I, not really. How much do you know about her exes? One time I asked because she kept asking about... We were having like no, a... No, actually, I didn't. No, actually, I never asked. You actually asked first and then... No, you... No. I never asked. No, I never trust asked. Trust me, you asked I've me. Never I asked. remember. I remember this because I remember... I, I remember, you no, asked no, 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 no. I remember... No, because no, I don't no, have... Hold on, one, just one second, one second, one second. I remember that 
I didn't want to ask because I was like, oh, I told myself that I wasn't going to ask anymore, you know, because it's better to not know. Right. Big facts. And, 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 and then I remember one day we were laying on your bed and we were just having like like random talks. And then you said something you asked about my ex. And I was like, are you sure? I was like, are you sure you want to know? And then so I I showed you a picture. Did and it hurt then, you? And then and then and oh. then my was curiosity like, was itching. I'm like, I'm and then I was like, you. fuck it. I, I told myself I wasn't gonna ask, but I'm gonna ask. So that's fine. And what did you ask? Just about his ex? Or like yeah, I was like, what about you? I was like, I was like, he doesn't have I mean, other than that yeah, story he told last time, like he doesn't really have an ex, yeah. Public. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you he, ask he, about ex? Depends. But that was but that was the day that he told me about the same story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you are you asking? I feel like you ask. Hell no. Oh. I could not care less. I don't go through phones. I don't Look, I'm very sane and perfect <laughs> during the relationship. It's after you leave me that I become insane. <laughs> but it's like, I'll, I'll never go through phones. I'll never fucking... I might hit you up and be like, where are you at? But like, other than that... That's normal. Yeah. All right, well, I have a question for the woman man of the group, since we only got one. <laughs> um, hey, still looking for a second one. Let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're auditioning, actively auditioning. But, comment uh, your favorite influencers. Comment your favorite. We have some parameters. Comment your favorite female creator. It doesn't have to be big. Like literally just we just need to be able to see her personality through her video content. 21 to 24. Imagine Nick Rahetta with a wig. Yeah, imagine female. if Nick Rahetta was a woman, that's who we want. Yeah. Uh, especially if she's not Asian. Mm. Yeah, we're trying to diversify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be completely transparent. We're equal opportunists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we needed to get the diversity uh, points up, and uh, and that's what we need to do. But it's just more fun when you have someone that has different takes. Exactly. You know? We just need to diversify the the points of view, the walks of life. So obviously, woman is number one thing we need to add. Gen Z is next. And, and then also mm -hmm. age is something, because mm -hmm. we got this guy. He's he's headed to the coffin soon. <laughs> I'm her, catching Her following very shortly no. after. No. Not true. I'm gonna live forever, and then uh, and then he's actually probably gonna die before him. So <laughs> we'll bury ourselves next to each other. But uh, <laughs> anyways, I what was I gonna say? Oh, before yeah. the the question before that is specific to the woe man. Do you want your man to be the baddie of the friend group? Because I saw this TikTok where this girl was like. The worst thing in the world is when your man is the hottest one of his friend group. She's like, it makes me sick because you know that if they're ever all in public together, the girls are going to single in on him because he stands out extra hard. Oh. Also, if his friends are ever going on a two man, you know who they're kitting up to use. Because oh. it might not even be like they're trying to set him up on the date. It's more like, bro, can you just come entertain this woman? Oh, wow. Be my decoy for a second. I never thought of it that way. So, yeah, yeah. Anyways, the TikTok was hilarious because she was going in. She was roasting her man's friends. Like, literally. Was it, was that mid-off? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like, what is this, a mid-off? And I was like, damn. You have an active boyfriend. You online talking shit about his friends like this. Like, damn. They didn't even wait, do anything. Wait, so this 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 girl that was talking about this, she her boyfriend was fine? or Her boyfriend is the hot one the hot out, one, of like okay. a, out of like a was friend group of all guys. I didn't, there was no pictures, oh, but okay. she was hot, so I'm going to assume that he's hot. And there's hella girl, like a thousand comments, they're all agreeing. They're like, when I saw the friends, I was sick, I was crying and throwing up. Like, oh my God, he's 6'5", and all his friends are 5'8". Oh my <laughs> goodness. No, I never thought about that. 5'8 yeah. oh, is a so perfectly you, fine height, by now, the way. Now that you've heard it, mm -hmm. what is going through your mind? Me? Let's I'm say you run it. Let's say when you. What do you mean? Let's say she already got it. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> What's it like? For real. What's it like for real? Yeah. No, no. no. I I wouldn't be. Uh... What's it like? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, the, the, like the, now, the thing... like, like just now. Like, yeah, what like, is it like? Like Jeremy's. We're all going out, right? <laughs> so you know that. Jeremy, what? please come what out I with us. I know his personality, yeah, and he's so respectful. We're so, like, literally how begging I... Jeremy to come out so that he can distract the women for Wait, us. Okay, the thing is. That's why they always hitting me up. Yeah. I say no, because I'm so respectful. <laughs> okay, how about this? Really take him out. Really okay. take love him to. out. Right, yeah, I try what all the, the time. No, he just doesn't want to. I, I, I I'm like, if you need to, go. All right, you go. can answer the question. And then this other fake hypothetical. We don't have to use the real... Wait, answer what's the question? <laughs> Is that? Do you want your man to be the baddie of the friend group, or would you actually prefer him not to be? I mean, I would want him to be the baddie of the friend group. Good because answer. 
Yeah, because I'm just like, oh, I, I, I got. Uh, I bagged. Batty. I bagged the baddie. Yeah. So then the flip side, right, is yes. what if your man yeah, is the I'm ugliest one in the friend group, right? Because then oh, that, the, those are two tropes, right? Because oh no, then the girls. I know should, we not answer, should we not answer the first wait, question? Wait, wait, I know this one because then the, then the girls are just like, They're yeah, like, damn, I, I got the, the ugly one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Because, like, if, well, you meet a guy, you like him, right? You date him, but then you meet all his friends and you're like, damn, every single one of his friends is better than him. I wanted the other ones, you know? And that that's a common thing online, too, that girls be saying. Yeah, that's the worst thing in your life. That shit would fucking that would kill hurt. me if my girl said that about me. Wait, but me. honestly, I'm oh. demisexual too, so it's just like I don't really uh. look at other men. You're the worst and, female and, co-host, Okay, man. let me let I'm me sorry. play the woman on the <laughs> yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'll be better. If I had the ugly one, then I would have to move on. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> and it would as a as a man as there well. There we go. These are the type of qu- answers we need. Right, wh- as a man as well. Let, let's say let's just let's just answer the question Flip in the reverse. It. Okay. Number one, yes, I want the baddest one. Got it. Number yeah, two, but men, of course. If, oh, oh, you're right. Men are all. There's no man that's gonna be like I purposely want okay, the. Other you know, but also the on the group. flip side, if 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 like on the flip side, it would. No, girls are different. Girls don't yeah, look at looks like, as go much. Back, go back to your woman version. Yeah. Okay. What if he was the ugliest but the richest? Then what? But I'm talking about like ugly. Oh. His friend's a model. He's a. You'd punch him in the streets if you saw him. <laughs> <laughs> Vin is just but in the got, streets punching ugly people. Ah, damn. Like, damn. for me, but, like, if I was a woman, it depends on, like, the type of life I'm trying to live. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so if I was, like, hey, damn, like, this What type guy, of life are you trying to live? Dude, some girls don't give a fuck. Yeah, they have like, one goal is for money. money yeah. yeah. Money, 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 money. And I'm not that. So even girl me would be, like, eh. mm. Agreed. Yeah. I'm going to go slurp your friend. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if the ugly man was funny, then maybe. What's the lesser of like two evils? Men. Looks, vanity, or money? Yeah, what if the other guy is just a vapid, shallow, like, stud Ooh. with an eight-inch schlong? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you're making this juicy. <laughs> so hard. Um, I would... But the schlong... Um, <laughs> He's like, can we actually tone it down to seven? Like, <laughs> yeah. eight would hurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't like the big ones. <laughs> um, I would vapid is t- I would money good personality. So we go. Well, who do said fun he things. had good personality? They both oh. have shitty personalities. Oh, one has money, one has looks. <laughs> oh, then 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 I would take the looks. Okay. I don't want to be fucking chased around by Quasimodo with a, <laughs> with a small one. The I want Rona fucking. Dave. I want Xerxes with the fucking <laughs> knee swinger. Xerxes with the Jesus. Knee swinger. Like, I want to be a pretty <laughs> little princess. <laughs> Xerxes You're in is your princess era? Stop asking him questions like this. Oh, man. What I'm, just, I'm just hypothetical. That was all <laughs> hypothetical. Damn, we on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> he gets, he, he, Yo, he goes every, into the sassy, sassy voice, too. He goes like, oh, quasi meta. Like, oh, why? <laughs> every week, these fucking, these fucking hypotheticals are destroying her fucking vision of you. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are ruining my relationship. Oh, man. No, yeah. I just go home and I do super manly shit. I'll just do like... You just build a fucking deck for no reason. Yeah. You don't have anywhere to put the deck. You just built a deck. Exactly. Build a deck. Brando, can you come over and build a deck? <laughs> <laughs> I need to impress Esther. Nah, I just Jeremy's bringing like- Brando lemonade and shit while he's building the deck. <laughs> I just you know, be Jeremy's go- I'd be guarded- actually... I'd be gardening naked, you know? Jeremy's actually not that good at building stuff. Yeah, and, I can and don't and don't And don't argue with me. I can build Legos. No, what do you I, mean? You I built was this whole company. <laughs> oh, bars. No, 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 no. Bars. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I'm no. not some. I'm building, not some. Building with your hands. I'm not okay. so clunky. Like, yeah, yeah. oh, let me smash What's more some, valuable, a like, fucking chair? I'm a new or, age builder. Yeah. Whole company. Some people are gifted with their hands. Some people are gifted with their minds. I'm gifted with both. <laughs> oh wow! Now you want to laugh. <laughs> This is insane. That was funny. I'll, hey, give, you, uh, I'll give you flowers when insane. you get deserve flowers. We do, we do, we do make a bunch of gay hypotheticals, but something that's not a hypothetical, legit question, right? Is it gay to tell your homies that they look good? No, that's awesome. Depends how you say it. Oh, you said it depends how you say it. Yeah. What's gay? Wu talk. You look really. No, no, that's something. I'm, I'm gonna give you two versions. Okay. You look really good today. Okay. Gay. You look really good today. Both are gay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? So, so there's, it- there's ways that you tell your homies that they look good. Ha ha. That, that. You got that shit on. What? What's an example? I just said it. You got that shit on. That one's like right in the border. Yeah, I, I don't like, know if it's your I voice. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, well, I was like. like <laughs> 
I was like, that's somehow more gay than I want to fuck you. <laughs> Wait, is it like, is it like, oh, like sick, sick jacket or sick fit? What, what about that? Or nobody there says that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I just jacket, delete bro. that. She, no, no, no. She peeped the face I'm in and she was like, oh, does Noah say that anymore? Here's the, or here's the non-gay version. It's uh-huh. like, uh, I want to choke you with that necklace on. <laughs> You look really chokeable with that Actually, necklace Actually, that's on. true. With men, I feel like the more gay you are, the less gay it is. That's a way to take it, I guess. Yeah. But no, no, no. So <laughs> I watched this streamer. I forget his name, but he's been on my For You page like all day long. He's hilarious. And he's like, as a man, he's like, you can't be telling your homies you looking good. He's like, that's gay. He's like, the non-gayest, the least gay way you can tell somebody they look good is like, hey, yo, you look like you get bitches. And I start oh, crying. Because no. I'm like, true. that's so true. So true. Any, anytime a man tells you like, yo, you look like you get bitches or you look like you pull, it's like, or I bet you pull or some shit like that. It's like, you're yeah. you're throating me right now. Yeah. Like, legit, like, this is you being like, you're hot without you, with you trying to be as straight as possible, but compliment my looks. And it's literally saying you attract women. That is spot, <laughs> that is spot on. I was dying. How do, how do so girls true. do it? Don't girls just be like, I girls want you to ride my up. face? Yeah, girls are even worse. No, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say when people say that. Like, I want you to step on me. I'm just like, why? Girls, no, say, that? Like like girls fans, say that to you? Yeah. I'm talking about like you're, you're one of your friends. Yeah, my friend said, oh, you look so cute today. Or you yeah. look pretty. Or like, wow, your makeup is awesome. Girls are She's direct like about it. I, I feel like guys should be able to say that too. Like, no, they are. That was just a it's joke. Not, it's not yeah. gay at all. Hey, have you heard us talk to each other? You think we care about That's sounding true. gay? You guys are very, yeah. very, like, no, almost the least creepy. homophobic people I know. Yeah. That's creepy. Literally, it's like, damn, like, Jeremy, you looking- I'll lick your toe one by one very slowly. Like, why? I threatened to sexually assault him at least twice a week. Yeah, yeah. I like I like got us a free hotel room in, in Hawaii and he goes dude I'll literally fuck you and then he goes into detail he's like I'll literally come into your room while you're sleeping and fuck you <laughs> and I was like D- damn like, is you know, that a thank you or what is that or when your homie or is that a threat <laughs> <laughs> or when your it's homie does something good it's like yo you deserve head yeah, yeah. deserve head and you, now we are super gay we, we, we you, you sniff up on his neck Mm. Yeah, like literally, it's like if Jeremy's ever looking good, like if Jeremy figures out how to, how to match his outfit one day, I literally come up behind him, I slip my hand in his pants, I'm like, damn, you're looking fucking good today, man. <laughs> he squeezes my cheeks. Because like, because you know, the outside, the pants, butt tap, there's two layers of fabric guarding it, so okay. I gotta get in there. Okay. Really please, show him how good he looks. Please, please, please find me another woman co-host. I'm scared. Yeah. Mm. It's we also funny, I saw, that, I saw that one, uh, it was either like, oh, it was, a, it was a tweet, it was like manly ways to say happy birthday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cakes and candles, yeah, my brother. Cakes and candles, like, that happy born favorite. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can no, say no, no, the ones that actually get used is happy G day and happy yeah. born day. I say happy born day. <laughs> yeah, cakes and candles is so funny. <laughs> The, the guys who say happy born day, 100% when they order uh, like a girly drink at the bar, they ask for it in a manly cup. I don't do that. <laughs> Huh? I say happy born day. I just I'm happy with my girly drinks. True, you're a, you're an enigma. I am. You just stand out, buddy. <laughs> but uh, man. Anyway. Question question. Since we're all here in social media, uh-huh. if you had to start over, how would you blow up on social media? Mm. So I I'll put this down because there's a TikTok blowing up right now from uh, Duke Dennis, and they basically asked him the same thing, and he said, first first step right is to get your face out there as much as possible and i'll go into detail because he goes into detail he's just giving us Duke I, his answer. Well, <laughs> no, I had to give him his credit yeah. i didn't come up with this he says that you have to prioritize longevity along with uh getting your face out there so start off on youtube make youtube videos nowadays it's also kind of like streaming so make youtube videos tiktok uh twitter and instagram reels is like your exposure so it's like you you make YouTube videos for the longevity. You get that other shit out there for exposure, getting your face out there. The more people that see the clips, blah, 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 will start to see you more often. And they're like, oh, who is this? Go to your YouTube. That's where the longevity is. That's where you focus on building your community. Um, then what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, then he says, oh, my cheeks hurt. I've been laughing too much this podcast. <laughs> God damn it. I hate joy. Uh, then he says... You should go after current events, the most popping current events, the, the, the people who are the biggest right now, the people having their 15 minutes of fame. You wanna, and you, if you think about this, Rice Gum has come out and said that's how he blew up. He would use other people bigger than him, use their names, boom, 
get get their fans to go back to him. So in in Duke Dennis's words, he would use Kai. I think he said Aiden Ross and Jinxy. Maybe I forgot who he said. Uh, when you post on the clips and whatever, use their hashtags. So the more people that see those videos will interact with those hashtags. Then you get on their uh, for you page. They'll because they also part of their content is reacting to people reacting to their mm-hmm. content, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the cheat code. Then once you make it onto their for you page and they know you, then you have to work to be their peer, as in like equal grounding. Because if if a man or if somebody sees you as lesser than you or lesser lesser than them and trying to use you to like come up. Obviously, people are not going to like that. So it, it has to come off in a certain way. Yeah, I will slightly disagree because I I'll, think that's the that's the solution. If everything was right and correct and you had you were just able to press buttons and make shit happen. And you are interesting enough where people like, let's you, say yeah. you it's OK. You finish your thought. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, how, I, how about you? Let me talk. How about that, buddy? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, so I think that is ideal situation. Stars aligned. You are meant to be famous. You have all the time in the world to either do all the work yourself and you're going to do it or you have all the money in the world to hire the right because that's a lot of work. Making a YouTube video or t- even a Twitch stream and then having it clipped, a lot of work. So I'll just do exactly what I did. So like, there's a lot of factors there that are relevant and active but like in the time that you would make one twitch stream or one youtube video you can make 10 tiktoks so what's what's better 10 chances at going viral on a platform that's way better suited for virality or you're gonna realistically what happens is you're gonna make the youtube video and you're gonna be you're just not gonna have the time energy or motivation to make tiktok clips when your youtube video gets no no views like it's just a lot of shit so start with the easiest fucking workload, post three times a day on TikTok, pick a niche, hammer that shit down. Not a niche like you need a topic, but like a style of video. <clears throat> Make it in that style of video three times a day minimum. And, um, and exactly that, ride current events, ride shit that's trending. So for example, when I was blowing up on TikTok, the first video that set me to like 100,000 followers, one video was that whipped coffee trend that happened. Made a cocktail from it in my style of video. I'd already done 20 videos, so I'd been getting like a style down. Then my 21st video, I saw the hype of like a blowing up trend, caught it at the right time, boom, 100,000 followers. Now every video I post gets at a baseline, 40,000 views. Then Avatar The Last Airbender got put on Netflix. Boom, made a drink for every nation. Every video got over 600,000 views. Took me to the next level. Then I just started getting good at content because by then I had made like 300 videos. So now I'm just coming up with new series, getting better at being on camera. Every video, 100,000 views, 100,000 views. I'm going crazy, right? And then now my life is different. <clears throat> and it's like, then I, can, then I had the proof that I was entertaining enough on camera, that I understood videos and social media algorithm, that I started a podcast. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, then you evolve. Like, once you really figure out what your skills are, you may not be cut out to be a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, but you might. I'm guaranteed everyone can make TikTok videos. You can be entertaining for one minute. So it's like, yeah. And your life can change just from a TikTok audience alone. Mm-hmm. There are three rules that I put every bucket into, and, it, and I, it just fits everything, especially in this day and age of how the content or the algorithm engines work. One, you have to come up with uh, uh, repeatable formats. Like, if you have some amazing idea and you're like, you can't do it over and over and over again, it's not an amazing idea. Like, you have to be able to do it repeatedly. For him, was making drinks. Like, it's not it's not like he has to reinvent the wheel. He doesn't need yep. a... Sh- he can make it in his living room. He has the equipment. He can buy a bunch of bottles and keep making it. For me, a repeatable format is standing in a grocery store. Yes, I have to go to a grocery store, but I could get 30 videos out of a, a day at the grocery store versus having to wake up every day and shoot it. So repeatable format is number one. Number two is you have to enjoy doing it or you will burn out. Like, there's this uh, other rule I tell people. It's like, it's like, you need to... Don't eat shit. And what that simply means is... I could go get 10 million, 10 million views tomorrow if I did something ridiculous like Supreme Patty or Neon or whatever and I'm eating shit or just being an absolute menace. But it's like that's what you're now famous for. And look, like Neon is probably burnt. Like you see all these stories about him burning out whatever it is. So 
Do something that you actually enjoy. And again, that goes to, that can apply to a niche. But just trying to attach to other people's names just because you're like, oh, this will give me the most amount of views generally leads people to doing like degenerate things or doing things just for attention, which is burnout. And then the third thing is it has to lead to an ROI. A lot of people just want to be famous just to be famous. But it's like, think critically about like what you want it to drive through. And what it could drive to is simply I want to build a live stream community for X, X, Y reasons. So that, so then if you go in the reverse to what he's saying, like TikTok is the best thing you can do the, the, the most of it, then maybe it's like, instead of trying to just live stream and work backwards the way Duke Dennis is saying, it's like, okay, I'm going to make TikTok videos in my niche or whatever. And then like every like five videos, I'm going to push to this live stream, which I'm going to be able to build over time just to see if I have a community. And I'm testing shorter videos to see if, People are liking what I'm even creating. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's my other two cents. Do you have something before I touch on touch on what he said? Uh, mine is just that I wish I was more consistent because someone, like, when I first started, I mean, I, first of all, I started late. So I wish that I, I started earlier. Mm-hmm. And I wish that I was way more consistent because the, the, a girl that I used to follow, like, we used to follow each other, she's now at 10 million. Damn. Yeah, TikTok followers and like one million on Instagram, and I was like, "Holy shit!" She had less than me, but she was pu- so like putting out so much more consistent. And I was like, "I could have done that too mm-hmm. if I was making quality videos <laughs> and putting out more content." I would say, yeah. and I will, I will die on this fucking sword. Oh, not to mention it was quarantine, so like everyone was on it. Yeah, like even more. That's when you should have blown up. Yeah, I yeah. will die on this sword that it's better to be consistent and make good content than just trying to focus on quality, great content. Depends mm-hmm. on where you're putting it, but yeah, on TikTok and when you're first starting, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because you need to get reps in. You got to think of it literally like experience points. Every video is one XP. And uh, and like once I got to like a thousand XP, like, you know what I'm saying? Like then I can more quickly make quality videos. And yeah. And at a certain point, you can't just make a thousand of the same videos anymore. You got to level up at a certain mm-hmm. point. <laughs> By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. I also have a question for you guys. When when do you know it's time to stop trying to be an influencer? <laughs> like, even, like, like using everything that you guys have told the audience. Uh-huh. Like when being is it consistent. Not, when is it not like, made for you? Yeah. I actually, I just saw a clip of, I think Ninja was, uh, someone in his chat was like, Yo, I've been streaming for five years, and I have 365, 368 followers. Should I just stop? Uh, and he was basically just like, yeah. you should, yeah, like, you should, like, in the nice way, he, he was basically just like, you should have a day job, and you should never do this as your day job until, like, you can actually make enough money to sustain mm-hmm. it. Yeah, damn, if that should not work, like, there's a million different ways, and I feel like everyone tries to do... I can tell somebody's motivation from what they're trying to do. If you're trying to be a Twitch streamer who plays video games all day, I would bet against you 99 out of 100 times. I would literally bet my life savings that you will not make it because your, your intentions are for the laziest, dumbest fucking reasons. And, uh, and people like you just don't make it straight up. You wanna, your, your motivation is I want to play video games all day, not like I want to. I have deep purpose and, and fucking like, you know, uh, passion about this. It's literally laziness. Mm-hmm. And uh, and greed. You want to be rich off the laziest shit ever, and I will bet against you a hundred times out of a hundred. Yeah. You, the 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 bottom line of what you said there is intention. Like yes. if it's like at the end of the day, if you're getting 365 uh, subscribers, but you're having fun doing it. Viewers. 
viewers or whatever it is and you're just like i just i just enjoy this and it's like a side hobby and maybe i can evolve evolve it into something it's like keep doing it like who knows yeah but if you want that shit to be your career and you want to be rich work harder find something that fits and this is where i was going to get into so a lot of the things you said right there's this japanese philosophy called ikigai which is the perfect thing that everyone needs to understand and it's basically the cross section of what you love what you're good at, what the world needs, and what you can get paid for. So most people, because you're young when you're trying to figure out life, you get stuck. You just don't understand that like passion only takes you so far. When you're 35 and you're doing the job you were passionate about when you were 16, and maybe you still are passionate about it, but you've been broke all your life, I promise you, you get jaded. And you're like, damn, I can't take of nobody that I give a fuck about. My wife has to work this job she fucking hates because we need to raise our four kids we ended up having, right? And it's like, no matter how passionate you were about that topic, money fucking matters, right? So it's like, damn, pick a passion that makes you some fucking money. There's a trillion things you can do. Don't pick a broke hobby. That's so so sad. I know somebody like that. That's like the most casual, that's the most common case. So it's not saying that go do, and then the opposite is you pick a soul sucking job that you fucking hate and you wake up every day hating yourself, working for some shit you don't believe in because you're like the bread is right and I'm driving a Porsche and I live in a nice place and my parents are taken care of, but you're killing yourself because you hate what you do. So there's a cross section. There's a way that you should balance everything. And it's legitimately like, how can I be happy with what I do, make enough money that I actually will sustain this, that there's enough of a career path that I can grow, and also that this is good for the world, right? So like, Mm -hmm. yeah, just think of those four, and if you can rank in all four of those, it's probably a good idea. Sell cigarettes. (laughs) To to minors. Uh, Upcharge them. Yeah, because (laughs) Jeremy woke up one day and he said, you know what the world needs? Cigarettes. More Asian, <laughs> Asian, well, Asian flavor. Asian flavors. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm in like, a, it's like, I think that's also really hard. Like, I'm trying to think of like, I think everybody, it sounds nice. Ikigai on paper sounds nice. But I think that life makes it so that you kind of just have to sacrifice some yeah, things. Yeah, and nothing will be. You're, Not you, life, capitalism. Nah, <laughs> Shut yeah. your ass up, boy. Ass up, boy. Capitalism. Yeah, yeah. Such a dumbass. Nah, up. even like inflation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, look at China. Like, okay, but that's what. You don't China, ever expect. It's not in communism. It's not even possible in China to reach Ikigai. guy. They're just like, get back in your sw- factory. <laughs> what were you to say? Sweatshop? Is that illegal to say now? I don't know. They got those over there. So what? Sorry to burst your fucking Disney Channel bubble. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, nobody, don't be looking for a 100% score across everything. You have to make concessions. And in life, you, like, you, will, you have to make the best choice with the pieces you have, right? If you're an 18-year-old kid and you come from nothing, you're probably going to have to make a lot of concessions in the icky guy fucking standards, right? To figure out how one day you can balance all four. So that's what I did. I was like, I'm poor. I'm fucking, I got nothing going for me. I got no education. Short hair. Yeah, I'm short. I can't go to the NBA. I don't have no musical talent, right? I was like, what can I do? And then I fucking found out I was good at bartending. I was like, finally, some shit that I can... I know can go viral on social media. And I fucking hammered that shit down. It wasn't like, I'm going to be a bartender forever. I'm so passionate about cocktails. I want to tell the world about it. Yes, I was passionate about it. Yes, I was good at it. Yes, it made me money. But I was like, this is how I get even just to, I don't know what I could possibly do yet. I don't even know because I'm so at the fucking bottom. I can't even see past this fucking fence of poverty. So I just got myself over that fence. And then once I could see, then I was like, ah, you know what? I care about health. That's a message that is profitable. I care about spreading and that I have the perfect story to build. And also I just built these skills of how to be really good on fucking camera and make short form video content and boom. Just be patient, be patient. And sometimes too, you could be, you could even be like, okay, uh, I will take the soul sucking job because I'm young and I can handle it and I can stack bread and I'll set a threshold to then and I'll try to go meet people to then be able to go do what yes, I Yes, it's okay to sell your soul for a little bit. No, it's not. But... That's what. That's another. That's where I feel like Gen Z is. They Gen Z got a lot going for them, but I fucking hate Gen Z. Wants everything. Gen Z wants to be 18 years old, doing exactly what they want to do, making a shit ton of money for it. And then when they don't get it, they love to complain. Millennials were the same way when we were younger. I think it's every generation. But it's, it's if you cannot do that, you'll beat everyone else. It's exacerbated. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's it's exacerbated 
uh, because of cell phones and you're getting the cell phone. You're on TikTok at seven. You're looking seven at years 19 old year olds and, making millions and of dollars. And it's like, it's like Jack Doherty being like Lambo and yeah. only, and I got like, look at my mansion. And yeah, look at, literally like, just scumbags. It, of It's just getting society. programmed into your brain. So yeah, don't watch people like Jack Doherty and Neon either. Don't fucking rot your brain. Weren't but uh, you, weren't you just hanging out with Neon? Yeah, Neon was in the club. Tell uh, us about how you met Neon. Oh, uh, I've met him a few times. The kid's not bad. In person, he's not bad. Um, but yeah, we were just in the club. It was after his whole like him and the other girl breakup. Uh, Ooh, he broke up. I guess so. That's what I'm. That's what. I, that's what my sources are telling Maybe. me. <laughs> hey, let's let, let's give a quick background to our audience of if they don't know who they is. So Neon is a streamer that, that uh that recent well not recently he's blown up quite a bit in the past few years, and um his whole character on camera is just like troll like. Scumbag. Scumbag troll, like, says the most outlandish shit, blah, blah, blah. And then hides like, behind he, the bodyguard. Yeah, he's basically like like a short, skinny, like, literal kid that, I don't know if he on purpose makes himself look as nerdy as possible. And then he acts super hard and, like, threatening and aggressively to a lot of people. Yeah. And me knowing that he can't. Mm-hmm. And then oh, you he's want you, mm. He's just a twerp, right? But then he walks around with gigantic bodyguards, obviously, because he can afford mm-hmm. them. He's like a shock streamer. And so yeah. Neon first got, like... Super notoriety. I mean, he was always doing like loud things on the internet, but he first got super no- notoriety by talking shit to Andrew Tate. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Aiden Ross and Andrew Tate oh, had a yeah. stream. He brought on Neon, and it was this like scrawny Indian kid just yeah. saying crazy shit, just like super crazy shit. And that's what started kind of his. And that's, that's just kind of his content, though, is talking shit to people that could clearly. Beat the fuck out yeah, of him. It's like shock streamer. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's one so of those corny. like uh, it doesn't matter. Attention is attention type. Yeah, of person. exactly. Yeah, uh. and that's the definition of like yeah, like maybe you'll get rich and make bread, but that especially because you're putting all that content online. Like, no matter if you come out five years later and you're like, hey guys, it was all an act. Like, I'm gonna be better now. Like, you've stained your image to in everyone's minds. I also think that he he's quite young. I, I don't know how old he is, but he's quite young. And um, the last time I talked to him, he was fucking, he was just saying, like, he was like this shit's getting tough. Like, bro, he just started, like, dumping on you? No, like, I just, asked, I just told him, like, hey, I see your streams. Like, I was just like, blah, blah, blah. He was just like, oh, I was just like, keep going. He was like, no, like, this nice. shit getting tough, man. No, but he was like, no, he was like, oh, I said, like, hey, like, I know you're doing what you need to do to, yeah. to feed your family and shit. Just keep going. Mm-hmm. Um, you read him. Yeah, and I was just like, yeah, and he's come out on camera saying it's all a character. Of course. And it's, um, so yeah, and anytime I've met him, bro, off camera, he's always just been like, oh, yeah, I remember you. What's up? In the club, he dapped me up. He was like, how, how are you doing tonight? You need anything? So I can tell he's a nice kid. It's just, I think, one, the internet got hold of him very quickly and very young. And then the whole character, obviously, it worked out for him. He's He has notoriety, but um, I think he's getting burnt out. Dude, you would get burnt out. percent you would get burnt. Again, it's called don't eat shit. Yeah. It's like you're going to burn out from trying to just go strictly for views. Yep. Whatever it is. Because even, even like. Because it's not something he wants to do, right? There's, there's this phrase. There's this phrase, right? Where it's like it applies to stream. I've been doing a lot of streamer research. Um, people say like your chat room is a, a reflection of yourself. Like that's basically what you've built. Mm-hmm. He like. I've seen clips where he fucking hates his chat. It's mm. like. He'll like he'll literally tell them like, bro, stop doing this, like stop, like fuck off. There's a funny ass. Well, that's because he's built his his he's built his audience off of being extremely dislikable. So exactly. his chat is hate watching him. Yeah. So it's like no shit, you're gonna hate them. But it's also f- a funny. Uh, he always there's clips of him. He's always like, hey chat, what should I do? And it's yeah. like funny. It's like he always asks his chat. It's yeah. like, hey chat, should I breathe? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but it's even like Aiden Ross. The, the way he blew up, he did the same shit. At the same Everything, time... It, it used to be... Well, I'm only talking... Not the not the not all the shock factor shit. I'm talking about, hey, Chad, what do I like? What do I oh, do? Oh, yeah, Aiden yeah, Ross, yeah. like, was the first one to do that yeah, shit. Yeah, he also kind of played bimbo, but Aiden Ross also, on the on the flip side, does, like, wholesome things. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and has also admitted his wrongs and things like that. Neon Aiden's hasn't older really and he's yet. gotten over that stage, but it was yeah. never as bad as, like, Neon yeah. or Jack Doherty. I will or say, people. though, that, like, Neon will be able to come back like so long as he just shows like the arc of being a good person because he's tied to just the biggest people in the world would want to make content with him to yeah. see him of change. Of course. Like, people want to see the hero's journey. And what? it's like from from the few interactions I've had like the kid's never like given me 
too bad. bad vibes. Is he turning up in the club? Yeah, yeah. What is that it? night? He was. So he was drunk. <laughs> that boy as fuck. got drunk as hell. Did you give him super bonsai? I did tell him about super bonsai. His homie was actually like, "Oh, you need some hangover med- uh, uh, what Was it hangover supplements, supplements? or some? Sh- uh-huh. He did not say supplements in the club. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's basically Kills? just talking about hangovers. Uh-huh. I'm like, "Oh, my homie actually runs a blah blah blah." And you didn't immediately whip out your handy dandy bottle me. of super bonsai. I didn't have it Why on. Do you me? not have it on you. It's you gotta my car. always have that thing on you. I keep it in my you. car. It rubs against my knee when I put it in my car. I don't even keep it in a bottle. I keep it like just as a pill, and I t- put take it. Just raw my pills bag. out yeah. your pocket. That's great. I should have held them in my mouth and just spit it in him. Yeah. Like, like baby bird, yeah. yeah. But yeah, wait. So you were on? Were you drunk? What club was this? Uh, I was at Warwick that night. I was oh. pretty drunk. Why didn't you invite me? You don't ever come out, and you're not drinking. You I see that even... proof that I'm sticking to it? Who are your club friends? I know. I think I know like every promoter out in the city. Yeah, he, he's well connected. You just connected pull up there. by yourself, and then you yeah. just hang out. He and does that it. shit all the time. Oh. Well, so going going to the clubs, I like I know the people in there too. I'm I'm. A club whore. I know the bouncers. <laughs> I, I, I fucking bro. I pull up and every single time, right? Especially Warwick, uh-huh. huge crowd. I hate it. I hate the way they're set up. Huge crowd of and mostly it's like girls with like a few. The guy buying the table. Yeah. Every time I'm at the back, I text the door guy because I'm friends with the door guy from when I first moved to LA. And he used to not work here. He moved to Warwick. So what, now Warwick's popping. So now I, whenever I come to Warwick, I'm like, yo, I'm here. I know the. I know the promoter table and I know the door guy. So every time he try, he finds me, he's like, Vit, come up here. Every time I'm like, I'm trying. And I go up and I'm like, excuse me. And without fail, bro, there's always that one fucking cunt bitch that's like, yeah, you're excused. It's like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and then what? You just get drunk by yourself and then go home? No, like I'm that in there so socializing yeah, with my friends. He gets in, goes to the promoter table, just swigs the bottle. And- well, I mean, I drink, but like I know yeah. most of them in there, and then mm-hmm. there's always pretty women there, just a promoter table. Mm-hmm. Yep. Is it ever the pretty woman saying, uh, "Excuse, yeah, excuse you"? Some of them are pretty. That's when I'm like, <laughs> "Oh, you- my bad, my bad." <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why are you not? But you should bring Super Bonsai with you every time you go and just I'll hand start. it out at the promoter I've told, table. I've told them about it, so next time I see them, I'll give them a bottle. Hell yeah. So, uh, were you drunk that night? I, uh, I was very drunk, mm-hmm. but um, I, I took six pills, and I was fine the next mm. next day. So, tell, that, tell them that with your chest. Where are you going? Okay. Damn, wait, I have to pee too. Wait for her to go and then tell them what you're Yeah, chest. yeah. So that night, um, funny enough, there's a video on Twitter that you can see Neon and me in the same thing. That was pretty cool. But uh, I got, <laughs> <laughs> I'm way over Neon. No, nah, just, uh-huh. I don't think I'll ever get used to LA and meeting like big people. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I, I got pretty drunk that night. They just always have bottles there and I'm fucking. Uh, and then um, I took six pills of Super Bonds out before I came in, knowing that I would drink a lot. I woke up the next day fine. You do not need six, by the way. You need Serving three. Serving size is three. Yes. He but, just has an unlimited supply. That's why he takes as many as he wants. And I'm a lightweight, so and I worry about hangovers. Hey, that, that stuff makes you able to drink more, I feel like. Maybe a little bit because it helps your liver process out like the alcohol mm. that's sitting there. So it's literally processing it out as you're drinking as well. Let me, let me, I'm going to read a little bit, a little review I had saved just to, just to give you guys some insight. So this is Mike Ryan off of Amazon, five-star review, one of our many, reading it word for word. Let me tell you, this stuff could be a placebo or it could be hard science. Either way, deities produced it. <laughs> Tested it out on about a 0.13 BAC. That was 0.13 was made up of different types of alcohol and sugary drinks as well. Drank almost no water and took these before bed, which is not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to drink a lot of water and take it before you drink. Woke up better than I do on a normal day with no alcohol. There's some magic in these pills. There's got to be. Also, side benefit. Took these while sick in combination with some other typical OTC stuff. Normal cold turnaround time for me is like a week plus. I was done with the cold in three days. 100% worth it. We'll always be keeping these around. The wow. reason why it worked for him with his cold is because it's chock full of all natural ingredients. Boosts your immune system, anti-inflammatory, liver processing, and all that good shit. So uh, wow. you can get yours right now with 20% off. Link in bio Yo. or on TikTok shop right there. Click that button. Yeah. Mike Ryan, you got to write my, my ads, my reviews. That was beautiful. And shout out Mike Ryan. Uh, Mike Ryan, if you watch this podcast, DM me and I got you on a free bottle for that beautiful review. Shout out to Mike Ryan. 
But Shout yes. out Super Bonsai. It, I genuinely give it to everybody and they'd be, yeah, they'd no, be surprised. It, 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 we have to take over because the world needs it. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a selfish desire. I'm here to save the world. Absolutely. And selfish desire. I mean... Um, it's that it's that cross section. Remember, okay. I have to make money off of it. <laughs> That's an icky guy. <laughs> <laughs> an icky guy. <laughs> but uh, oh man, you guys want to eat after this? No, I have meal prep. I know, man. I'm getting I'm getting shredded. I need to find a new friend. Damn. Like, fuck the co-host. I'm in I'm in the market for a new friend. They, they keep calling me the fat one, but I'm not. Yeah. I want a fat friend. <laughs> I want a fat alcoholic friend. <laughs> Damn, is that who I was to you before? <laughs> I was your fat alcoholic friend? What the fuck? I did not say that. That's, That's what you're insinuating. He Why was... would you have a void of a fat alcoholic right, friend man. if you didn't want to? wants Pumbaa back. <laughs> Get the gang back together. <laughs> Fucking cool. Puma went on steroids and it ruined his mind. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's like a skinny pig? I don't even know. I don't know. D- what? Warhog, pig. Warhog. It's a pig, man. Fuck you hey, guys. Did you guys They're see trying how- to make it better and shit. <laughs> it's a warhog, not a pig. Warhogs are strong. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, he's never going to get over this. I'm not. It's a compliment. I'm literally Take ignoring. Take compliment. The, I'm ignoring the other one because it's so bad. Ursula? Like that's, I, that shit keeps me up at night. I go to my mirror shirtless after a workout, after a four-hour workout, after I starve myself all day and I look at him like, you're not Ursula. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. Like, I just need to remind you every time that was all him. I did not agree with that. Wow, look at this guy <laughs> just throwing me under the bus. I, Maybe I will go eat with you. <laughs> <laughs> is that, hey, the best way to Wu Talk's heart is you just got to stroke the ego. Not course, stroke the ego. Is. Maybe fucking not call me Ursula. That's all it takes. <laughs> tell, him, tell him he looks good. Maybe he'll go to the club with you today. <laughs> I would no, never no, no, want I can't. To you look like you get girls <laughs> at the club. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you look like you get girls at the club. <laughs> no, as his friend, I would I would never try to harm his journey by inviting him to the club. <sighs> Thank Fish, you. Get off your fucking high horn, you <laughs> bitch. Head ass boy. I like this guy. Yeah. Head ass boy. Hey, I may not want much for myself, but I want the world for my friends. Yeah, <laughs> this guy is such a white knight. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, you know, so speaking of uh, being absolutely shitty human beings, did you guys see Sup Kaylin roasting the shit out of her Discord mod live on her show? Yeah. I don't yeah. even know who that is. Yeah. You don't know who Sup Kaylin is? But also... Let's get the background of the story. Uh-huh. Oh, so yeah, so Sup Kaylin, popular Twitch streamer. Um, and then all, <laughs> I don't follow her streams, obviously. I don't watch anyone's streams, but popular people pop up on For You page. This shit was mega viral. And it was one of her Discord mods. And to explain a Discord mod for everyone, it's somebody that moderates your Discord, usually for free. Especially if you're like a hot girl streamer, you have people willing to work for you for free. So this dude looks like the typical Discord mod, as in like fashion sense like Jeremy, <laughs> neck beard. Hell no, it was not, not as drippy as me. Body type like old Wu Talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't. It's just right there. I have to take it. That man is. Look at the fucking arm. Si- that is not a Discord mod <laughs> body type. And continue on with the story, please. This is uh, a my podcast. Bad, my bad, my bad. I take that back. Neck, neck, <laughs> neck, chin, like. <laughs> I fucking hate. I'm quitting this podcast. I'm leaving. I'm starting an above the influence. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, no, nah, he was. He looked very nerdy and losery. Yeah. Like, keep, keep, keep it above. There was one specifically fucked up part, but finish. Yeah, uh, I don't even remember the specifically fucked up part. I just remember I the whole thing. It was like, this guy works for you for free, and he somehow signed up to be publicly humiliated on a live stream by her. But it was also like, why do you want to publicly humiliate your Discord? Well, mod? in so in detail, I saw two clips. I don't know if they did any more, but the two that I saw that went mega viral. The first one was uh, she invited him on and she was going to kiss him. Not make out, not like, it was just a little peck. Just mwah, acted disgusted afterwards. Literally like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so first of all, first of all, that's, that's crazy in itself. Then the second clip. Wait, 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 let's stand the first one. To kiss him, she made everyone donate a certain. She's like, "I yep. will kiss him if you gave, basically get me to a thousand dollars in donation." Yeah, like a sub goal. Yeah, some some ridiculous amount mm-hmm. of money. Kiss then, him. So it's like 
I will only do it if you pay me a bunch of money. Then acted like she literally she like, like a kiss like Satan to throw or up. Yeah. She treated him like a circus freak. Literally, and were it to, a, to his face on live stream on a popular live stream. Then the second one was, um, I'm pretty sure it was him sniffing her panties. No, no, she gave him her, yeah, something with her panties. Something with her panties. And then was also disgusted and, like, called him a freak. Or, and well, shit like how that. was his facial reaction, do you know? He's just like... He was fine with it. Just, which, is, which goes, like, we need <laughs> yeah, to... That, that is more your fault, my We guy. need to start a discourse about the type of men we're, we're letting out into this world. Because, like, as a man, why are you doing that? Yeah, like, obviously she's fucked Caitlin. up for doing it, but, like, she's an... Like, uh, no, nah, she's fucked up for doing it, but... Who the fuck signs up for that? You know what I'm saying? And allows it to happen. I only knew about the story. Do you know what Moist Critical is? I've he's, heard of him. Yeah, yeah he's got like 10, 000, 10 million subs on YouTube. And he just basically talks about like internet stories like yeah. that. <laughs> I saw a clip in it where the dude is like, he's like sniffling and, and whatever. He's crying? No, no, no. He, because she has fucking cats and oh. he's staying there. And mm -hmm. he, she's he's just like... She's just like, ew, every time you like blow your nose, it like grosses me out. And he's just like, I'm just allergic to your cats. And like, it's like, what the fuck? He have just has allergy. Have y'all seen the damn my she, cheeks really hurt? Fuck. Keep um, smiling. Have you guys you gotta seen work the, out the muscle. Have you guys seen you haven't smiled much this week? <laughs> damn. I'm just imagining him in his house, like Yeah. And then he comes in here and fucking roasts the shit out of me, and that makes <laughs> me smile. <laughs> Sounds funny. Have you guys seen the video where um it's a black dude? And a white. <laughs> why, are you, why are you laughing? I don't know why you. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing. Anyways, let's retry that. It's a black dude and a white woman, and the white woman is beating the shit out of him, like punching him in his face. Bam, 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 bam. Right, went viral on TikTok or uh, on Twitter. Uh, and then he he's like saying like, "Oh, thank you, mistress." Blah 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 blah. blah. So it's like it's his kink. Uh -huh. The replies were like half were oh. like, "Why the fuck would you do this?" The other half were like, "Oh, I need this." <laughs> oh, oh, oh so are you thinking that this might God. be one of those things? It might be. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, that no, then that's totally fine to be honest. Uh, like people like to be degraded. Publicly, like yeah, yeah, but like do it in fucking private. Yeah, bro. stop influencing the world. To, there's a reason these sicknesses keep spreading, yeah. and it's because we keep putting it on the internet for views. You have to think very lowly of yourself. To begin with, or it has to build up to that point where you're like, I'm just gonna take it. Like that's how I get yeah. attention. I'm gonna from enjoy a, taking above it. Above average yeah. looking girl in my eyes or the internet's eyes, and I'm just gonna take her shaming me because at least you know she gives me some sort of affection or May attention. May I say something? So a lot of there's a lot of like oh really really rich men that like being treated like crap behind closed doors yep. because there's a lot of people that like basically respect them, you know? So like behind closed doors, it's like a king f for them yeah. to get like stepped on by like girls or whatever. I mean, everybody has their own kinks. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Just yeah. keep that shit behind closed doors. I do. Bring back king shaming. Some <laughs> kinks should be shamed. Some are weird. Like this one? What else? Uh, well, I mean, I uh, yeah, that, that's the main one. If you like being degraded and shit... Don't I, spread it around on the internet. Saw, Do it in private. I saw another clip on TikTok, and it was some other guy from far away had nothing to do with it. And it was like <laughs> two two girls that were basically like making this guy get on his knees, kiss her foot, like all. And he literally is filming this from far away. Oh, at her event in Hawaii, T Tiffany did that shit. Those guys asked him. Yeah, well, no, I mean, but it's yeah, like, like those. Yeah. Oh, you're, part of, you're part of the problem. But anyway, this this so this guy's filming from like pretty far away. It's like from here to the fridge, and it's like happening. And um, he finally goes over, and and the guy's on his all fours, and he's on a leash at this point. And this is after he watched them make him kiss his foot, be like shut up, get on the ground, whatever. And he was just like, dude, what? He he's not even talking to the girls. He's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, have some respect for yourself. And the girls like, go away, blah blah blah. Like he's our pay pig, blah blah blah. And oh and the God. guy and and the guy is just like, brother, like get up and walk away. And the guy's just like, no, I want to do this. He's like, man, you're so broken. And then the guy turns the camera. He's like, dude, this is so fucked that people are out here I letting people disrespect themselves like this. And enjoy and it's like yeah. people are the excuse is like, oh, this is a kink. They enjoy it. Like th what the level of like brokenness you have to go through to for your mind to switch to enjoy that. Like you're not natural. No one is born in a child. If a child, an innocent toddler went through something like that, they would be upset. They'd be crying. It causes a, there's a lot of underlying trauma and like fucked up shit you have to go through to, to begin enjoying that, especially sexually. So it's like. 
the more you just glorify, like, oh, you shouldn't kink shame. Everyone should be able to do it. Yeah, sure, do it. I'm not here to police what you're doing, but stop glorifying that shit online. It's fucking disgusting and sad. Core of it is not like a necessarily healthy thing. Yeah. I've always said I want to do my research to figure out what happens in someone's life, uh, in in a man's life, for him to grow up and become a pay pig. Oh. It makes no sense to me. Yeah, you work so hard for that money, and even if you're super rich, would you not want to at least Get some pussy out of it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the disconnect for me. Like, sure, I, I can understand wanting, oh, you're so rich, I have so much money. I want to spend this money on a girl. That's cool. Why do you want to spend the money and then not be able to fuck? And give it away to a girl that disrespects you on purpose or like, you I, know, I don't understand it. It's fucking insane. I've done it before. I have, I have had someone ask me to do that. Oh, I thought you meant give your money away to someone disrespecting you. I was oh, like, no, damn! No no. no, no, no. And then I was just like, wait, I can't be this mean, though. Because I, I knew a friend that did that. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, yeah, try it. And I was like, oh, wait, I can't. Yeah, it's I was fucked like, up. I can't. I was like, it seems very, very wrong. Like, even if this person is enjoying it, I couldn't enjoy it. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is like And disgusting. that's a normal moral response to that situation. And it's like, yeah, as a girl, you're probably going to be tempted to take that money or do the situ or do the thing that they're begging you to do. And this is why I don't even blame the girls. That's such a that's a way better situation. That's a way harder situation to say no to than you fucking weirdos asking to be put on leashes and publicly degraded, especially put online for the youth to be infected with. And that's what like you, you're a child, right? Like you're let's say you're like 13. You're just getting into girls and shit. And you're like, oh, this, you see shit like that enough times and you're going to start thinking like, this is what I should, this is what you're supposed to do when you come across a hot woman. You're supposed to let them degrade you and treat mm -hmm. you like shit. And, it, and, then, and then we wonder why society is in the position I, it is. I will say though, I got slapped one time by a bitch during sex and... That's a little bit he, different. He's a part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I hate pain during I got, sex. I got my kinks. How long have we uh, recorded for? I feel like two long hours. Two. Damn. Should we wrap it up? Got a couple more more uh, questions around here. What oh, do we save for uh, next? I want to talk about Coachella. Why is Coachella failing this year, Jeremy? It's interesting because this is the first year in like the last ten years where it hasn't sold out instantly. Oh. And and lineup is good, but the biggest thing is it's not because of the festival. It's because of the housing market. All these greedy people saw it. like. If you go to rent an Airbnb Coachella weekend, the baseline house that's like a five bedroom and a couple bathrooms is like 40 grand for that one week. It'll be anywhere Wait, from 20 really? to 40 grand. Yeah, it's crazy expensive. So people in Palm Spring will make basically the year's amount of money in one week. In one week and then they're Airbnb, Airbnb being it the rest of the time. So because of that, everybody went and bought property in Palm Springs and now it's just so expensive. And nobody can live there. So now the city's trying to ban it. But quite literally, the housing market ruined the festival. And because because now Coachella is like you're spending ticket, transportation, food, where you're staying, extracurriculars. You're spending anywhere it's from like thousands of dollars. Three to five K. That's an international trip. People are like, why would I spend all this just to go? I'll see them on their tour. All these artists tour. I'll pay 50 bucks to go see them when they come Whoa. to my town. It's not worth it for me anymore to just go see them the whole weekend. People always find a way to ruin shit. Do we shit. still get free tickets? Potentially if we support the Doolab this I'm year. not going to that shit regardless. Yeah, you went a little too hard. Well, me? Is that why you're not going? No, no, no. I just got shit to do now. Oh. I've never been. Is it fun? No. No. Oh. It's pretty fun. It's overrated. It's overrated. Highly. There's way better festivals. We should go to Austin City Limits. Okay. <sighs> Texas. I maybe. love Texas. I'll yeah. be down for a different festival maybe, but yeah, Coachella was just not <laughs> worth the headache of like, like the going in and out shit really was like trash. Ruins it. Oh, I ruins it. Literally ruins the whole festival. And are they doing the best they can to make They're, the going in and out like- Probably, not, but, but, not but it's good just, enough. It's just too many people. It's imagining, imagine trying to cram 100,000 people through <gasps> one entrance. 100,000 people? 100,000 people every day. Holy shit. Wait. Yeah. Damn, what's who's the who's the lineup? What's the what's I know the lineup? Lana's playing this Lana year. Lana Del Rey, That's Doja the Cat. I want to go. Who's the third headliner? Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator. Yeah. Don't care. Don't care. Oh, no mid. doubt. Yeah. Damn. Ooh, I don't even know who that I is. I would love to see Lana. Mm -hmm. But I could probably see her. Elsewhere. I have a really important question to wrap it up. Really okay. Important. Before we get into our fan submitted questions, that you can see on Under the Influence Show. That's www under the influence dot show pay us money every month to support the show and you get a bunch of exclusive content we make a section every video you get extended cuts of our original content 
And we do a little, little fun segments just, just to go on there all the time. And we answer all your questions. Anyways. Question, question, question. My really important question is, what is the strongest animal that you think you can beat in a fight? Like the strongest, yes. the most deadly. Black bear. Mm. Think you could beat Hell a black no. bear in Hell a fight? Nah. Yeah. Dude, not being that. You wouldn't How? even beat a bear cub fresh out the womb. <laughs> yeah, I would. Ain't I could no C-section way. that cub out of there prematurely. Say, it's killing you. I would you. say I can't beat a polar bear. I can't beat a grizzly bear, but a bear I can. A black. You're not beating a black bear. Yeah. How are? What's your strategy of beating a black bear? Yeah, I'll punch it many, many times in the stomach. Just. How are you even going to get to its stomach? It's on huh? all fours. <laughs> Grab you with its claws. And it has no, teeth and claws. It'll, it'll go, it'll go uh, and then once it's doing that, that, that quick roll. Oh, roll you're right going to punch him like that? Yeah. Oh, and he's dead? What if he charges you on all fours? You don't get to punch his stomach. You don't get to punch his stomach. Yeah, he comes in, he, tries to, he tackles you. Also, like a, you're a punch to his <laughs> You I'm really think you're going to beat the black bear? Be for real. Yeah. How old is he? <laughs> What is it? What's the it age? Don't matter. An adult black bear. Adult. Yeah. Even a child. You're not beating a child black bear. I would rather die than beat him up. But if I really had to, <laughs> I feel like I could beat you. an alligator. Hell no. What is your on land? On land. Which one's the smaller one? Alligator or crocodile? Crocodile. Okay, because I've seen motherfuckers just jump on its back I mean, and holding its mouth right? shut. So I've seen that humans are able to do that. If I could get on his back and grab it by its mouth, I'm putting my knee in the back of its, wherever its skull bone is, and just fucking cranking that whole back. Do you know how I fucking win. strong they are? Their whole body is muscle. They're like a, right, so a then, water so then, snake. So then watch this shit. It's all I'm muscle. Grabbing, I'm grabbing their fucking mouth shut. And they're Try, spiky Triangle on top. choke. Triangle choke. Do you even Done. know? Hey, hey, hey. Done. Do you even know where an alligator's throat is? Doesn't matter. Even Everyone know where has a throat. It's, a, it's where the neck is. How do you think those motherfuckers breathe when they, you know, when they freeze, they, they sit in a lake frozen and their little nose holes are poking oh, yeah, out or whatever? Yeah. All right, maybe, all right, then you I'm, I'm switching play. to a king cobra. Hey, hey, I'm let's fucking see, up yeah. that king cobra. I'm literally biting it in half. No, no, no. Because I'm you, catching this bitch ass. It's going to lunge at me. I'm going to dodge, <laughs> weave, weave, right? Grab it by his little skinny neck. Fucking flap it around so yeah. it's disoriented. And then I'm fucking holding that, it out like a... That king honestly, cobra would... Wrap itself around you very quickly. Oh, honestly, king cobras are small. Hey, I'm but, not hey, saying hey, hey, honestly, grabbing the king cobra, right? It's gonna be like a nerd's rope, and I'm taking a bite out the middle. Honestly, I I agree with you. You could fight something weak like a king cobra. That's believable. Well, you, alligator, absolutely. Alligator, not. I'm also winning. I already gave you my game plan. You're not beating have, an alligator. You can't locate the throat. You have an answer? I gotta think on mine. I have an answer. What? Yeah. You guys keep going for animals that have massive jaws and like biting force and shit. I'm finding like goddamn kangaroo. That's straight hands. Hell that kangaroo's no. beating the fuck out of you. Bro, I mean, look, up kangaroo, look up kangaroo kicking human, and it's literally like kicking oh a hole. Oh my gosh. Like, they literally do this. It's like a sonic boom. I'll dodge. <laughs> What's up? I'll dodge. I, I'm beating a kangaroo. I would, I would have better chance of dodging that than a fucking alligator or a no, bear. No, no, alligators are slow. It's knocking you the kangaroos fuck out, and then it's going to pick you up and put you in his little pouch, and he's going to collect you, and he's going he's gonna to call you, he's going to make like, you call him his I mommy. Mean, a kangaroo is straight boxing, so it's like... I'm taking a kangaroo. That's your best chance at beating an animal. Hell, dude, look up the... the I'm kangaroo stomping meme. out a koala. Kangaroos are... Nah, I'm literally nah. ripping the fuck out of a sloth. I'm, ri yeah. I'm ripping that koala <laughs> off its fucking little stupid eucalyptus tree, and I'm just stepping on him. Yeah, like of fucking. course you could only beat a fucking high animal. The koala is like, why? <laughs> it's just one of Leave the many alone. animals that I could beat the fuck out of. You're not beating an alligator. You're maybe beating a worm. I mean, a snake. <laughs> No, I'm yeah. definitely beating the snake. The snake is easy. It's just deadly. Dead. So, so all I got to do is dodge the first bite so that I live, and that bitch is dead. I'm biting it first. Hmm. Wait, I'm pretty yeah, sure what is your answer? I'm fast trying to think. Reload time. They do have very fast reload time, but I have the reflexes of a mongoose. <laughs> I think I could beat 100 chickens <laughs> attacking me at once. You already killed 30, so yeah. why not? Yeah, you're no, like, I know, but, I'm, but literally, I'm just like punting each one like a fucking balloon, you know? Nah, they would... They would Wait, can chickens fly? They can kind of glide at you, yeah, but then yeah, it's, but then it's like, the you know, it's like you, you, they would you I, think you, I think you would lose to 40 chickens. <laughs> no, 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 I could beat 100. No, I, I think I could beat 100 chickens. That's pretty impressive. Original content? What's up? Original yeah, content. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> no. I could murk 100 chickens. Yeah, we were in Hawaii trying to catch like two chickens, couldn't even catch them. No, they're attacking me though. I'll cover oh, yeah, myself yeah, in corn bits or something. I think if it was a life or death situation, then I could beat a bear. I think I'm defeating a mountain lion. But dude, I heard the craziest sure story about the bear. It was Joe Rogan was talking about how, like, you know, people think that you could, like, tame a bear. And long story short, bears, uh, like, mountain lions 
cat st- cat predators will like bite your throat. Jugular. Yeah, and try to kill you, and then they'll they'll eat you later. Bears will just tear you apart and just start r- ripping you and eating you. And there's a You're video of a guy. Being eaten, yeah. yeah, there's a, there's a video of a guy getting mauled by a bear. It's like famous because he was like try He thought that he was cool with the bears and that he was one. You know, one of those wildlife guys. And it's a five minute video of him getting his organs eaten out. The bear oh. just tearing out his stomach and he's screaming. Okay, then I choose a oh. turtle. A deer? A turtle. A turtle? She, I, I'll be like, I'll be like, the turtle will hide it in its shell. Like, uh, and she just, nah, nah, where she, you at, bitch? <laughs> when he comes out, pa! Right <laughs> she in flips the, face. the turtle upside down <laughs> and just walks away. Nah, I don't want to do that to any of the animals. I, I you got to pick one. Who are you beating good, the good, fuck good, out good, of? Good. Get Pete on hey, our hey, side. Hey, can I, like, use the environment around no, me if there's no, sticks and stuff? Straight hands. hands. You, I've heard of this. I, mountain lion, low key, like, you know, you heard of that guy that in like Colorado or somewhere that defeated a mountain lion. He got With attacked jiu-jitsu? by a mountain lion. Yeah, alone. He just had to choke it out. He got fucked up, but he like while it's like mauling him. Rat, literally, the strategy is you got to choke it out. Like, yeah. So he's being mauled while he's choking it with its fuck with his legs, and he fucking suffocated it to death, basically. Imagine, imagine if he's like choking it, and you got to choke it beyond just passed out. Yeah, yeah, no, like that motherfucker got to like, die. So imagine you squeezing it. You're like, is it dead? And you get up, and you're like crawling and home, and you just see it see like that twitch. motherfucker pull up on yeah, you. Yeah, like, like Jesus Christ. Oh, hell no. You know what would be scarier than what? a bear? A chimpanzee. Oh. I think chimpanzees are scary. Chimpanzees are scary. Yeah. yeah. They'll be jumping. Especially out. if it was multiple, I would shit my pants. I heard they're super strong too. Like I, I saw a chimpanzee like literally lifting a woman up to like Yep. You know? Three hundred pounds, it's one crazy. arm that can go like straight like that. Like a Delta you guys race. watch Planet of the Apes. That's not a fucking chimpanzee. No, I I no, I've seen a video of a like a lady had uh, domesticated uh-huh. a chimp, uh-huh. right? And so she was like the, the chimp had climbed over like the stairs and then she was just like like you uh, know, and he help just me grabs up. her and, and pulls then the her chimp over. Yep. literally just went like this. I mean if you think about how like, chimps travel pure arms like and they don't get tired like how strong do you have to be yeah, chimps can also grab there's like chimp domesticated chimps that flip and they'll maul their owners tear their chimps limbs off chimps are also fucked up they do fucked yeah, up shit yeah. like, tear their limb off tear, tear your dick off yep. glue it to your forehead laugh at you it's crazy fuck your girl before they leave yeah <laughs> and and laugh while they're doing it yeah. smoke your cigarette I'm, I'm genuinely I trying to think the fuck out of a dolphin no, no so dolphins funny. will rape you too. Ooh. Dolphins are fucked up too. Nope. Oh. But also, uh, are you fighting the dolphin on land or water? Because you're losing the water for sure. <laughs> oh no, on land. Dolphins are scared too. I heard that they like will. <laughs> dolphins like, will rape drag you. you, drag you like to the bottom, like you know where they can go, yep. because they're like, oh yeah, we're playing, but then they're like, no, no, they're, they they know drowning. what they're doing. They know you're they drowning. Know? Yeah, yeah, and then they'll fuck you. The dolphins are known to rape humans. How do they rape you? They stick their fucking thing wherever they can find your fucking anything in your mouth, your face. They literally, there's multiple, multiple cases of humans being raped by dolphins. They'll How rape big? other dolphins. They'll rape other fish and animals. How big are they? I don't know. It depends on the dolphin. I remember. Don't ask me. What how about I the Asian this. dolphin? Nah, bro. Dolphins <laughs> have weird dicks. Ew. It's like it's like a spiral. Pull up the picture. Why do you? Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please fact check. Fact check me, please. I want to argue. Do people your survive after getting and, and raped? And also look up what, what's the most hung dolphin out there. What dolphin is most <laughs> Wait, hung? I don't, uh, Record dolphin dick size. Yeah. My social history is going to look so bad after this. Yeah, babe. Such but up dolphin penis. Okay. J- thank you, Jamie. Jamie, what is the... Uh, oh, what the... F- hey, right, please talk to right? the mic, it's Jamie. It's a spiral? What, it's, it's not, not a spiral? Talking to the mic. Ian, talking to the mic. Wait, wait. Talking to the I'll mic. I'll look it up my damn self. Ian, what would you describe this as? Like a tongue, but it ends in a spike. Ew. Wait, so like has so anyone dolphin survived dicks, a, a dolphin dicks are spicy? Hello, has anyone survived a dolphin attack? They have to have. That's yeah, how yeah. they've reported oh, it. Oh, look at this motherfucker being raped right here. Oh my god. Wait, excuse Damn. me? Dude, that's so hey. honestly, dolphins are so creepy. Question. Yeah, Question. They're smart for their own good. Oh yeah. uh, look. Oh, he's a widow one. Uh, we got a will cute little penis. It's a it's a tiny dolphin dick. Yeah, I'll take that penis. That shit I don't no, even face. Don't me. say stuff like that. That's beastiality. That shit wouldn't even spread my cheeks open. Hey, I am just wondering, like the one Ew. guy, hey, the one guy that was out swimming in the ocean got clapped by a dolphin and he came back and everyone's like, What happened? Why are you walking funny? <laughs> they're like, sure, buddy. Wait, but so yeah. what does it look like? Describe it. It's li- it literally looks like a pointy tongue. What yeah. the fuck? Let me see. Show hey, me. but but does I guess it- I was wrong. I don't know what animal dick I'm thinking of. Oh. Geese. Geese? Geese have spiral dicks? Because, um... Oh, if I could choose an animal to fight and beat the shit out of, it's a geese. <laughs> I hate geese. Yeah, yeah, I also hate geese. Geese suck. They're, they're wait, super wait, angry. On the count of three toes, say the reason why. I want to see if it's similar. What? 
why you hate geese. Oh. Three, two, one. Because they, they keep playing me for oh. a bitch. Every time I see one, they come up, they're trying to fight. Oh. It's like, do you not understand the power I wield? I could grab you by your little scrawny neck and break it. <laughs> I was I was chased by one when I was young. I was I was chased too. But yeah, geese are mean. aggressive. They're I mean they're as mean. fuck, and they shit everywhere. <laughs> I'm so tired. Of everywhere. Have you guys seen that meme where it's like me at the park talking to the geese, and then it's like, do you not realize that it was man who was made in God's image? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Oh man, I'm trying. I'm genuinely trying to th- like be realistic. Like you're not beating a. A geese. No, you're not. Okay, you could beat a geese. You're beating the no, fuck out. You're not beating the you? Canadian geese. Just, I'm turning them into jackets. I'm starting a whole jacket brand. I got, I got beat up by geese. school. I, I got beat up at school by the Canadian geese. By one or that, multiple? Multiple. That's because they me. jumped your ass. He had, a, a, a he had to transfer schools after that. They never respect <laughs> <that> one. <laughs> they just see him in the schoolyard yeah. getting mobbed on by Every geese. time they see him, their heads go up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I, would, I would say my final choice, kangaroo. Hey, they're flying south and they look down and see Tristan and they fly down. <laughs> Uh, well, my I, final not, choice, you know, alligator. Wait, why are you, what are you looking at now? Stop Ain't, looking at, I'm you're, looking not, at the you're not beating an alligator. That's a prehistoric dinosaur. That's been, that's They're been so true. strong. They also on land, they run like 40 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. And guess how fast I run? 41. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, think, I think I legit could beat maybe a fucking ostrich. No, you're not beating an ostrich. Yeah. Cause I'm, you know how gangly. big those shits are? You can ride yeah, yeah. an ostrich. Oh, do you guys want to try an ostrich egg? No. Okay. That shit looks yeah, like, where? that weirds me out for some reason. It's like it's two just like normal Thick. eggs. Yeah. No, no, it's you know why it's It's a really dirty normal eggs. Wait, where did you get it? I don't have it, but I wouldn't want to. Like, oh. I'm, I'm thinking about buying one so I can try it on stream, but. Call I'd me when you, be, once you actually get it. Bet, bet. I'd also be, right. be cool to just like easy lift YouTube video, trying weird food. I'm, I'm down. I think it's weird because have you have you guys seen those memes where it's just like have you ever ate have you ever started eating egg and then think like what the hell am I eating like yeah. what does this even taste like and you get this weird like yeah. feeling like what the fuck is this I know you, you never tried you to never get that it, but I'm still confused on how eggs are made it's just, ugh. rooster <laughs> claps the fuck out of a female chicken and then no, they no, just you start don't even need to, you know, a rooster doesn't need to fuck to, to create that's, eggs I'm trying that's to, what I'm confused about I'm trying to lie to him a chicken's a, an egg is a chicken period that's what it is yeah, an egg is chicken period so but imagine you you know how girls have periods yeah that's exactly what a chicken's doing when it lays an egg every single day multiple sometimes that's why yeah, the chicken's always the, grumpy if that's the period then how does the so then when a rooster fucks a chicken then it impregnates and, the eggs, and then there's actual like the what X Y chromosome is missing that chromosome to make it a hatchable egg so without the rooster. The egg. So what's an egg without the rooster? It's a period. It's a period. So well, like a woman, a woman, can, yeah, a well, woman literally has an. Hold on. A, a women, women have eggs inside them, right? Uh-huh. And the only time that it can turn into a baby is yes. if sperm. Yes. But without it, they just lay the egg. That's the period. And, and that's why rid of the egg. in that egg. Is it's just the like, regular egg, regardless. No, no, it's just like, of egg juice. there being sperm or not, there's the egg in it. White, yolk, egg is, everything. It's not It's not like a fetus egg, or nothing the, like that. The egg that it's hasn't like been whatever. impregnated, it cannot turn into a chicken. It's just egg. It's just dead egg. That's why we, we can, eat it. We can eat it. Chickens are literally food printers. Oh, oh so You can eat the one that's pregnated too. But balut is... Fertilize yes. the duck egg. So they let the rooster clap the chicken, and no, then no, they no. let the chicken duck. lay the egg. Well, I'm still confused, and I need to piss. No, no, no. So they let the, the rooster clap the, the duck. I mean... They the let the rooster. ducks have sex. And, and then, then they let the duck lay the egg knowing it's fertilized, and then they kill it before the duck can hatch. So they'll wait like so couple weeks. So Baloo is an abortion, yes. and uh, and regular eggs are just periods. Oh, wow. I never knew this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, explain back. Wait, so normal eggs, white, yolk, everything. Yes. But it can only hatch if it's been fucked. Yes. That's the egg. Sperm. It oh. needs to be drenched in sperm. Yep. That is Your so sperm. You got to go in there and start sperming all over these chickens. Yeah. Ah, I don't like this. That's song. how you make balut. I got it. Now we're going to move on to our favorite segment, Dollar Store Therapy, where all of you guys ask the four smartest people in the world life advice. So we always pull these questions mainly from our bonus content platform under the influence.show. You can find the link in the description or our Discord or our DMs, whatever it is. But... Bonus content platform gets priority, so forth. www.undertheinfluence.show. 
<clears throat> and that's www.undertheinfluence.show, a website. It's not our at. <laughs> and here we go. I get really jealous seeing people who are able to spend money semi-freely and not worry about their bank accounts. I bring in $400 a month max and have $800 in bills every month. I got arrested for shoplifting food from Walmart because I had nothing to eat, so now I have to pay 715 fines. I have almost nothing left in my savings. It's getting so hard for me these days that I've considered going behind my family's back and becoming an escort or possibly dealing drugs. I know it's ex- really extreme, but the weight of poverty is crushing me, and I feel like I can't do anything more. I'm falling into a dark hole, and I can't see a way out. Wait, what Damn. are you doing that you only get $400 a month? Yeah, literally, and what I don't understand. I can literally work at a restaurant for, like, what, two days in a week like a and still get way more money. My three questions were reversed, and they didn't respond to me. I said, how old are you? What is your job? How are you spending your time day to day? Yeah. Like, what are your $800 in bills that you only make $400 a month? There is no, unless you are a slave, like somebody has you held hostage to work for them for basically free. Like, that is like either you have a bunch of time to work another job or a different job or like like once a week. Yeah, 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 exactly. College kid. Yeah, you're like, so one. Number one would be get a job that covers your bills. Look for that shit because literally, like she said, I could work at a restaurant and it depends where you are, but if your bills are only $800 a month, you could work two or three days out the week in restaurant industry. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, I don't have experience. Lie. Watch YouTube videos, learn all the terminology that restaurants use and go in that bitch and literally lie, right? That you worked in other restaurants, lie on that bitch. That's my legitimate advice to you as somebody who's worked in restaurants all their life. Secondly, I agree about the lying thing because I was so stupid back then mm-hmm. and they would always put me as a bar bat or, yeah, or a busser, a, bus boy, yeah. a busser. And I was like, and I would watch the service. I'm like, this guy's a bum. Yep. That guy can barely formulate sentences and yep. they're taking all the tips. But because they have experience. Exper- exactly. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what am I doing? And then I eventually found better jobs and didn't yep. do that. Secondly, there is a trill. We live in an, we live in the only age possible where you can make whatever money you want on your fu- you. If you have this, if you have an internet connection to talk to us, you have this, right? You can literally go take the time, use this. If you don't have a computer study, TikTok shop legitimately, this is real advice. Study how TikTok shop works. There are people making $40,000 a month from just shilling other products and you get the products for free. All you have to do is reach out to the brands and ask them for the product and they'll send it to you for free so you can sample it and make videos with it. Do this, make fucking three to five videos a day because you clearly have the time because you're not working. So like one, if you do that, I promise you in a month, there's 0% chance you don't have at least one video go viral and you make in the five figures of dollars. Legit, there's a gold rush happening right now, and if you don't want to take the time to learn about how to capitalize off of it, at mm-hmm. that point is your fault. You're also gonna learn amazing skills about like how to be a salesperson and how to like make content, which is like valuable in any situation outside of whether or not you want to do that for the rest of your life. Money is very attainable, but this person just seems like they want the fast way out because they're like. I'm I'm stuck between like selling drugs or and like escorting, yeah. And, and I'm just like, yeah, you could get quick money from that, you know. But come on, man. Yeah, that, you have th- those two are days, not the days. only two options. That's not, that's not the only two options. To make eight hundred bucks. Too, yeah. Like. yeah, yeah, yeah. You could stumble across eight hundred bucks. Take your four hundred. Hit the casino. <laughs> call up Esther. Bring Esther with you. <laughs> nah, don't actually do that. But there are legitimate ways to make a lot more money than eight hundred dollars a month, and all it takes is a fucking phone and an internet connection, which you have. So the, the only excuse is laziness. And if that is truly your reason stopping you, like don't be out here asking for advice because you know damn well what you got, what you got to do. I'm still confused on what job pays $400 a month. They got to be doing some weekly Bro, job. Ian Maybe is like, like a, a bus boy at a restaurant for like two days a week making like more than that, you know, like. Maybe she's Ian, like why did you lie and get a server but... job? Come on now. Ian doesn't want to be a server. Oh, you don't want to be? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't worry. Ian's going to come work for me soon. Yeah. We got you, Ian. Okay, what's next? Anyways, this one's a long one. I'll read it. Or actually, let's, let me read this quick one first. Because it's, it's not really therapy. It's just asking me a question. Mr. Wutak, sir, your life is here, but do you not have to serve military service in Korea since that's where you hold <laughs> citizenship? Will it not be troublesome later when you can visit home? Question mark, heart, reply. Here is your reply. Yes, it will be troublesome. I am not allowed back there or I'll go to the military. So I can't visit my family back home. 
uh, my grandma's old and dying, and I can't go back to visit her. Why so you just serve in the military. You don't care about your country. Hell no, I don't give a fuck about that country. I what, do. Yeah. I do love my country, but going to the Korean military is like going to jail. It's not like anything beneficial. I don't speak Korean. I have businesses. I have a life. I have things that if I just disappeared for two years, everything would crumble. Everything I've worked for. Yeah. He could either just get a American citizenship, give up his Korean citizenship, and then he could go back yep. to Korea. Or you can... I have to wait till like 35. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I, I, American citizenship is very, very hard to get. So I've been trying for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and only after millions of followers and multiple successful businesses may I have a chance. And even then, I'm pleading with the U.S. government. And they're like, go fuck yourself, basically. Yeah. I fucking have paid, like, 15 bands to a lawyer to, like, get me that shit. And, bro, it is a nightmare process. Like, no matter how many accolades you have, no matter how much proof that you're a ba valuable citizen of the U.S. Bro, one of no the biggest... Card. Hey... To four hundred dollar a week, girl. Biggest finesse: become a Im immigration lawyer, because every that there's requires money too, though. What? She, got, she doesn't have money to go to law school, yeah, motherfucker. What the, this Maybe guy. Just, no, go rack up that student debt and become an immigration lawyer because it is a racket. <laughs> no, that's there's not so a good. That's not good advice. There are so many Im like immigrants out there, or people that need, and yeah. and it's just endless. They just take your money and they just say, "All yeah, right, but, we'll let yeah, you but know." Yeah, but hey, don't become someone who takes advantage of immigrants. Yeah, for hey, money. just go donate your eggs. Go get a job, but go get yeah. go be a server. That ass you can only do that one. if you have really, really good jeans. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh -huh. that to me right, is Gen Z mentality. And buy a good huh? pair of jeans and then go donate your eggs. <laughs> that that to me. <laughs> did you hear a stupid ass? <laughs> I did. I want to take note. I didn't want to laugh at it. <laughs> hey, that to me is a Gen Z mentality when it's like, I'm only making 400 bucks. Yeah. What do I do? Get, make more. Yeah, go, <laughs> There's go, a trillion go, ways to make go more. Go hustle. Yeah. Um. Okay. Wait, do you want to read? One, yeah, yeah, read your long one. Also, a question. Oh, hold on. I haven't been in a long-term relationship for more than five years. Last time I dated someone for over a month was in 2022, 2023. I wasn't involved with anyone in any kind of way, neither emotionally nor physically. It's not that I don't have opportunities per se, but I have had a few, a few bad experiences where I would either get lied or get led on for intimacy, or even become a side chick unknowingly. Damn. Now I am being extra careful and generally avoiding dating altogether, hoping I would find someone organically through work slash mutual friends, groups, hobbies, because dating just does not feel safe. My friends are generally supportive of my choices, but I do hear every now and then that my carefulness is too much, and I just need to let those dating experiences happen, bad and mediocre included, and not just count on the so-called organic scenarios. I would appreciate your guys' opinions. Like, do you think as a 25-year-old girl I'm being reasonable avoiding dating via apps and such? Yes, you are being reasonable. Your friends are tweaking. The fuck you mean they, that you need to put yourself through those experiences? I guess if you haven't been dating at all, at all, because you're being very selective. That's not a bad thing, in my opinion. You're young, right? And then maybe if you're like, oh, I really want like five kids or some shit. Okay, then maybe you got to start putting yourself out there a little more so that you could find somebody to literally in your biological clockwise meet your goals. But overall, this sounds healthy. Dating apps and online dating usually is why you end up with many uh, fuck boys or players in your life. So yep. I was about to say, if you, if there is a, if there is a, um, a, what's the word thirst to date and whatnot, and you also are more wholesome and you have certain values, then go do activities that align with that values. The simplest version is if like you believe in God, go to church. There's probably good, nice people you can meet in church in a protected environment where you're like, okay, there's gotta be some screening here. Or if, you like hiking? Join a bunch of hiking clubs. There, there are definitely some fuckboy hikers. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that, that never, doesn't protect you. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You're also not protected in, in the church as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, church has yeah, fuckboys too. There's there a lot of fuckboys, <laughs> no. but but you know, but the thing is, like, I know what you mean though. Date, just date around. Yeah. You have to date around. Just don't fuck them. Date yeah, around. Don't fuck them. You do have to put yourself out there to potentially find somebody. Um, so yeah, you only get better through experience, man. Yeah. That's what I tell myself. Okay. Relax. Buddy. And, uh, no, but the thing is you have to learn from them. I have friends that don't <laughs> learn from them and they continue to go through this, this, the same journey. And I'm yeah. just like, yo, it's the you same just, fuck up a hundred times over. Yeah, like, damn. Exactly. You just rewind at the VHS and then went, played it again. And just like, bro, they get hurt. And then literally you see their next man is like, that's the same motherfucker in a different font. Yeah. Not even that yeah. different. It's just like bold you know? but i do yeah i i understand like my friend uh 
she her standards are a little too high, uh-huh. you know. And I'm just like, yeah, having standards is good, but when it's too high, I'm just like, it's not realistic anymore. Yep. So, how do you tell uh, someone to lower their standards? No, I, I have something mean, but I'm not gonna say it. Say it. I'll, say I'll tell it. you guys. I'll tell you guys later. Bro. Say no, it. Say it. What's it's the, the bonus content? Okay. Okay. So what you I don't told have to name drop or no one. <laughs> okay, but. I'm not. Okay, what I told her is that she was like, yeah, my man has to be tall. He has to be handsome. He has to be rich, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, listen here. If you want a man that's this, 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 and this, why would this man want you? Only because this man is probably going to go out looking for a model. If you truly want a man that's... Why would that man want you, for real? And that ain't mean, that's just the truth. That's the facts. And, I'm, and, I, and I just told her, I was like, I, like, I know you're a catch, but to be honest, you're not that, that much of a catch. No, 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 that's yeah. fucked up. No, but I'm just you like, like one of those that like you hold up real quick, yeah, yeah, yeah and then you yeah, take yeah, a you picture were, with it, but you throw it back. You're I'm not, not, a, I'm not no. stuffing you and putting you on the no, wall. You're I, not a bluefin would, tuna. No, but listen, I would say the same thing. They're not to writing news articles well. about you. I'm not young. Uh-huh. I'm not young. So if I'm just like going like fuck, no, he's he, he ain't my man because he's lacking one thing. Yeah, yeah. like he's not. He hasn't rich fit my perfect category. Yeah, then I'm just like, then I'm then I'm just like, if he's. If Damn, he's a Jeremy. 10 out of 10. Damn, Jeremy. No, listen. She low key sneaked this in I, you. Hey, 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 Esther was drunk talking in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Because, because um, what I, what, what sticks out to me is that it, look at yourself, truly look at yourself and, yeah. and rate yourself. Are you a 10 out of 10, like perfect, perfect? Yeah. Because no one's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, did he say himself? Yeah. yeah. I'm a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> you wild caught, baby. It's like then don't expect With another Roe, person. You got to be a You got a little nice surprise inside too. Hey, I got a, I got a good question, but let me know if we should save it for a podcast. Like it should be a podcast episode. But like the other girl was saying, like you know, sometimes I've even become a side chick unknowingly. What is side chick energy? I <laughs> saved that for the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Write that down. So, yeah, and I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Write that down right now. I'm like, oh, I'm, and, I, and immediately my brain is like, like. Someone approaches you, they're just Damn, like... that's a good ass answer. That's a good one, Write, write your answer down, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, because we know you. <laughs> You're going to forget. Hey, all week he's saying it to himself, <laughs> repeating the answer. Yeah. All right. Um, but for you, it's not bad that you're wanting to keep yourself off of the t- places that toxic people congregate. But if you... And I don't think you are. If your standards are unrealistic, like you have too many things, and if they don't fit everything, you're like, I'm holding out. That clock is ticking, my my lady. But that's yeah, only if you lady. really want a man. <laughs> like some people don't care, and I'm just like, I would not judge anybody for not wanting a man. God damn. What? Long. Long as shit. So my boy here. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is stupid. Ignore hey, hey. this man. Hey, hey, if you guys are gonna write a long question, which is fine, because we love context, put the question at the top. Put the question, then we read it. Okay, so then, then we we'll oh, read the context. One. Go to the end. Go to the end and read the question, and then. We could skip. I just the read it, man. Just, just okay. read the whole thing for Speed now. Speed read it. Let's uh, see. I'm it. Just gonna watch my reading skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, the fastest. <laughs> this is the fastest reader in the world. Isn't this <laughs> the man that read all seven Harry Potter books? <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> 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 all right. Anyway, thank you for the question. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so it's real long, but watch this. Watch this. Is six inches enough? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, dead ass is long. Ready? This shit probably going to end up being hella long, but fuck it. Physical description so you can visualize. I'm 19, Asian, 6 foot 3, liar. Handsome <laughs> enough to get bad bitches. Liar. Liar. <laughs> Just kidding. Hella tats. At 19, that's crazy. Liar. You, you, you got a broken family, probably. <laughs> My ex who I broke up with like two weeks ago was 23, and y'all going to love this Wu Talk. <laughs> Victim, victim. <laughs> oh, hey, that's hilarious. He, he shouted me out in this. And y'all gonna love this, Wu-Talk. She was a 5'2", big booty Latina, low-key goth, neck tattoo shit. <laughs> I do love it. Me and my girlfriend have a... F- Wait, would this my be girlfriend too- and I. I've been sh- <laughs> Damn, this motherfucker sucks at reading. I love every time Jeremy stumbles, it's just violating his reading skills. Me and my... Oh, shit. oh, look at him. <laughs> my, my girlfriend and I have been official for three months now. Okay, the reason why I got stumbled up is this person wrote two comments and I wasn't sure if they were... Sure, buddy. They're Don't make your excuses. Just question. continue. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sir. My girlfriend and I have been official for three months now, but we had history in the past, like high school, five to six years ago. But we kind of parted ways with mutual agreement. On top of that, we've been talking again since like July of 2023, then made it official in October. But we have yet to have one argument... 
where we were both mad at each other. Everything's been communicated, but to me, it seems like there needs to be an argument where we both need to reflect. But then again, everything has been smooth sailing. I love that we don't argue because we both have a lot to deal with in our daily lives. Anyways, the question is, do you guys think a relationship can stay healthy without arguments? This is a prime example of like <laughs> looking for problems when there's none. I'll be honest, I tuned out. <laughs> I that I spaced the fuck out my fault. I don't know the question. Basically, okay, the, the wait, question why is, did you why did you space out? What were you bro, thinking? I got about? no clue. That like that was what, a, yeah, but that what did you what were you thinking? Literally, what crossed your breath? Don't lie to me. Did nothing, you had a bro. thought. There I was, came to fucking my senses and I was like, where am I? No, no, no. <laughs> you you daydreamed about something and you let us know right now. What was it? What, what was the, the fuck? Thought? I didn't daydream wait, about Jeremy, anything. What was the first thought? Jeremy, when I ask you what you're thinking about, you say nothing. So what is there is it, is it is it is it is it actually nothing? Or Sometimes it is nothing. That's what I was like. so other things, other nothing. things, other things. I I'm like not ready to she explain. She got your ass. No, I gave her the honest ass answer right there. What, what about you? I just did too. The fuck? No, look at him. I could tell he's, <laughs> no, he's nah, you're just pressing me so but, hard. But just because I want to go eat, man. Yeah, fucking the, move the on. Original question was basically, um, so this this couple has had no arguments, and now he's wondering if the relationship is working because they have no arguments. <laughs> And he said... Wait, does he still like her? Is he like, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, not no, like No, her. they like her. No, they like her. I oh. love that we don't argue because we both have a lot to deal with in our daily lives. Anyways, question is, do you think a healthy relationship can stay healthy without arguments? Yes. That sounds I know, very I know, I know a beautiful relationship where they just don't argue. And it's just not uh, not because like one person is just scared to talk to the other person. It's like, seriously, like they're just so in sync. Hey, man, next time you want to say they, hi to us, just comment hi. <laughs> <laughs> and they also don't think, like, anything's really worth it. They're like, eh, it's not even that bad. No, but it's I, not I, to the I, point where they have resentments yeah. at all, so they just don't care. I think it's, one, that is a healthy relationship. This is why I feel like they're commenting it, because the internet is just flooded with bad advice nowadays, and you're going to see, maybe it's not even advice. The internet is just flooded with content, period, and we as humans, like, pattern recognize, and it's like, oh, if every couple I see, even the couples I look up to, argue all the time, we should be arguing, type shit. And and it's like, oh, wow, we, we, our shit is too perfect. Does that mean she's boring? Does that mean I'm blah, blah, blah? I feel like you're getting in your head from the input that you're consuming. And it's not true. Don't let the, the input you're consuming but I, affect yeah, your relationship. But I get what this person's talking about because, you know, our friend was like, yeah, like, so he had a wife and he was just like, yeah, like everything was cool. Like I thought she was like hella chill because she never like argues, like she never talks back. And she's just like, okay. You know, like she'll bring up something and then I'll tell her and then she'll be like, okay. But they ended up getting a divorce. But that sounds like suppression. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, so. Oh, you're I, saying that could be the case here. That, that could be the case. But like, if it isn't, then don't also, question how long have it. They don't been question dating? it. Huh? How long have they been dating? For uh, many, high many years. School, high school sweethearts and then six <laughs> years later, they um, broke up and then six years later. So they're around 27, I think. From high, six years later after 18 would be 24. Oh, I don't know. Damn. There's, there's something like that. Wait, hold on. How long? All right, but if you, got, if you guys have been together years and you don't argue like that. Yeah, they broke up. They just recently got back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. But I'm it. saying that I don't know how long they've been together. Are they recent? They're, no, they've no, only we've been, been official for three months now, but we oh. have history in the past, like high school, five to six no, years No, that, that doesn't count. She's Wait, like, that's like a different person Wait, from who on, she was in on. high school. But also, if they've only been together for three months yeah. and they haven't had a fight, that's like normal. That sounds normal. That's normal. Like, I... Dude, in the beginning, I don't argue with nobody. You know, oh, no, I, I, I'm in that phase I, where I'm just sure like- I make sure I argue. I got to test their resilience. Oh, no, I, 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 I don't find a reason to argue or I don't- there's I start arguing about shit. I don't even- I yeah. take the other side of what I truly believe in just to see if they'll fight with me. My puts on the he puts Toxic. on the gloves and he's like, let's spar. Yeah. And then if they win, I'm like, ah, oh, you can you can handle it. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not like that. He throws gloves at his girl and he punches his girl in the face like this, and then she's like, "What the fuck, Wu Tai?" Like, trying to yeah, I'm not as a fight. woman beater. Yeah, Shut what the up. fuck? <laughs> no, he likes to cause fights for no reason. I'm like, why? No, not with my girl. Activity. Yeah, no. not with my girl. I like to cause yeah. it be between other people where I'm not involved. I'm like, oh, that's said, toxic he behavior. He said that about you. Whoa, no, that's, no, that's no you're funny. an instigator that's and you're toxic. I am an instigator. That's your funny as hell. Instigating is one of my favorite pastimes. Same. That's why he ain't your friend no we more. We get along. <sighs> oh, right. man. But uh, 
Yeah, yeah. honestly, three months is not long at all. That's it's why. It's not long yeah, at it's all. Honeymoon. Yeah, just fucking enjoy it. Hey, revisit mm-hmm. us in another three months. Yeah. He's like, damn, we're fighting every day. Like the second that after I posted that comment. Like. No, in six month time, usually that's when six to like a year, that's yeah. when you start. Like, also, I don't fighting. even like the timelines because it really depends on how fast you're moving and, and everything. We fought like, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You're all like, oh, I don't I don't even care to fight. It sounds like y'all y'all was fighting within that time frame. She loves it. Yeah. I don't yeah, love it. He just does dumb shit. I feel like you're like me where she's just beefing. No, no, yeah. I don't. I don't cause... Uh, I don't argue with him for no reason. Sometimes I be bringing up. Sh- <laughs> Look just, at can, you, can you guys hear me out? Like, no, 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 I'm just hear me out. Out. Hear it. Okay, so like, it's like, it's like, he upset me over something, and it could be this, it could be small thing, but I bring it up to him, and then he'd be like, okay, wh- what? And then like, it causes an argument because of the of his tone of uh-huh. voice, and I'd be like, I'd be like, <laughs> I'm, I brought you up. I brought this up to you very, very calmly, uh-huh. but you are you are making it bigger than it is. Jerome. I'm just asking you a question, mm-hmm. or I'm asking you for an explanation, and you you just want to get so defensive so fast that mm-hmm. it's just talking it's about an one argument. particular situation. No, but it's, I'd say it's over, a lot of the times. It's no, a lot no, of times. But I'd say over the past, like the things that she would get upset about is just like you just you just picking fights. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's just he's just so like caveman and and. So I'm not gonna argue. Like you can like. Say what you want. Oh like. my gosh! Look at him. You're getting your ass beat at home. <laughs> See, who do you think is telling the truth? <laughs> this is damn. <laughs> Anyways, what? What is that? Uh, what's the, what's the word? Um, domestic abuse signal. <laughs> oh my gosh! Shut up! Hey, why I, need, I need another girl here, man. Uh, I need another girl here. I, I get, I get what you're saying about like it's yeah. the tone and the the reaction. People, okay, literally, like he thinks everything's an argument, but it's just a conversation. Yeah, I, I know what you mean by the caveman thing because it's it's very male logic thinking applied to an emotional problem, where it is just like, oh, just acknowledge my emotions and that uh, I feel this way, and it's like you're gonna address it somehow, not just be mad that it's trivial because it will be trivial sometimes. It's okay, Jeremy. I will beat you right now. I'm just waving but that's the that's before you can use this shit. That's I'm the waving. symptom of um of not being in a relationship before. There he's, was no girl to teach him that he's prior literally to you. A thirty two year old like boy, eleven year old. Yep, trust me. Uh, we be in very serious meetings. He's over there doodling on the presentation. I did it once, bro. You do shit like that all the time. I don't serious meeting. He's like, look at what I, I got superpowers. <laughs> That's the end of a meeting. No, bro. You, bro, you like Esther, you two are similar that you guys, you love using the word, bro both of a, you. Bro is a clown. Always, never. You always do this. You never, and I'm just like, oh my God. Hey, maybe hey, if there's hey. two people saying it about the same one. No, but then, it, you know, normally, I, right, I, I you're, you're right, that. you're right. Normally, I would be like, okay, that makes some sense. But, oh, but it's because the two it's us. high maintenance people that oh, get in fights. Just because we got an issue with you, we're high maintenance. Fights in everybody. Wait, wait, Guess wait, what? Wait, I'm not saying that on. about him. Hold on. If he I don't was... do shit, he sits in his room okay, all day. One second, one second. Well, let me let me let me say something. <laughs> if I was, if I was, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. I was on your side. You know what I was gonna say before everybody when everybody stopped talking? I was gonna be. I would never emasculate you. Now I am gonna. <laughs> oh, little boy, Hold yeah. on. grow up. If I was high maintenance, I would not. Date you, Jeremy. Let's be clear about oh, that. Oh shit. Period. Oh shit. No, but I don't dead ass. Jeremy. No, dead, dead, dead ass. If yeah. I was high maintenance, I would not have. Because first of all, I, he just, he, I got no I got no allies in the room anymore. Somebody come to people. Beep. He he always, four, four, wants, three, four. he always wants to call me high maintenance, and I'm like, there's no way I would date you if yeah. I was high maintenance. No way. And how hey Jeremy, Jeremy. And it's not even about financial like shit. It's about I don't get he yeah, doesn't yeah, give yeah. me all of his time. Like it's uh-huh. like what a, how can I be high maintenance? Okay, so we end this? Yeah. yeah I'm All right. I'm done. This was called dollar store therapy for them, <laughs> not for y'all. <laughs> hey guys, leave me some to answer. This my is why it's dollar problems. store therapy. We also need therapy <laughs> wait, too. Wait, next episode we see questions like, so hypothetically, if you're dating this bitch <laughs> and she's high maintenance, <laughs> hypothetically, if you're dating a fucking eleven year old virgin. <laughs> It's, it's, it's from Jeremy's account. It's not Jeremy, by the way. <laughs> hey, back to his comment, virgin no more. <laughs> uh, we gotta say our goodbyes, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Let's actually wrap. Hey, sit back down. Where are you going, man? I have to run out of here. 
have to run out of here. I don't feel like safe in this. What did you say? I don't feel safe in this space. It's not, it's not a safe place for yeah, me this anymore. Is not a, this is not a safe yeah, place. You for ruined me my safe place. I'm ruining yours. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I used to come, be able to come on here and talk about my feelings. Uh, the audience wonders why I haven't talked in fucking four months. <laughs> Motherfucker, every time I talk, you bitch at me. <laughs> Stop complaining. Stop crying. <laughs> Fuck you. It was like one comment that said that. He just let it tear his world down. <laughs> He's still thinking about the guy that said, bitch, should just be the cameraman. Yes. <laughs> you don't know. At the end of every night, I'm my own man. I had to deal with this shit by myself. Dude, uh, there was there was oh, a, fuck a time. there was an interesting like psychology uh. reason as to why people pinpoint a negative comment. Oh. And then they just like get hung up on it, even though yeah, because you literally. remind me of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my, my jaw hurts. Uh, hey, you've had the talking? zingers last podcast. This one, you yeah, had... I'm uh, well, I'm I'm better right now. Uh, I thought but it was some type like... of manic. I was like, I like this version of the manic. If it is, oh, I was definitely manic this week. Oh. That's that's why I just stayed up. I barely slept, but um. I just also like this is a podcast. I should talk. <laughs> <laughs> the comment was right. Yeah. Made you reflect. Okay. You, I, you I had to right. take some accountability. <laughs> <laughs> it's called growth. It's Damn. called being mature. <laughs> <laughs> he just flames him up. He's like, yeah, yeah he right though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready to say goodbye? Mm. Okay. Uh, with that, I hope you guys found me funny and hot. I'm only here. To <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how much you guys like it. <laughs> Scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like that? Comment down below. <laughs> Man, I'll, I'll try to be here every week doing this shit. I'll be here. I'll be back next week. <laughs> hey, that was one of the, my favorite dollar store therapies yeah. I, we've ever done. Yeah, my, boy, uh, my boy in there was uh, almost too truthful. Gave us quite a lot of context for, uh, for an exciting situation. www.undertheinfluence.show to, fi to find out what we talked about. We was laughing a lot. And you get to see uh, their marital problems. No problems here. We never fight. We fight a lot. Yeah. Because he's dumb. It turned from dollar sort therapy to marriage counseling. And before you guys go, oh, their, uh, their, their relationships, they're going to break up the podcast. Trust me. I'll, I'll kick both of them out before this podcast ends. You're going to see fucking, fucking, uh, what, what's like a Easter and fucking Jerome <laughs> re replacing them too. I will find them off the street. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Easter One day. and Jerome. <laughs> no, and then they start dating. <laughs> and they just go through the whole shit again. Nah, I will never. I will never make this. I don't know, ruin this podcast. Yeah. It would. It would. Most I, I likely don't. Be I don't think. They what? Huh? What? <laughs> Look, guys, the vision is bigger than just a human relationship. Don't don't have to worry. But if they fight again, I'm shutting the whole shit down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's end this thing. All right, with that, goodbye. Pants. Goodbye, love you. Love goodbye, you love guys. you. Bye, bye, bye. Like, comment, and subscribe, or we'll kick you in the teeth. No, we, the fuck, no, we won't. That's not how you get people to do things. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you. <laughs>